system under which we live. And that its tendency is to move towards repression and more super exploitation and intensify the misery of the masses of people. We did a campaign to try to raise up popular opposition to that, looking, drawing on our history of the modern civil rights movement. This conference is a part of the continuation of that campaign, hopefully politically and organizationally elevate and consolidate our forces of resistance. The resolutions and demands are proposed as the beginnings of a people's fight back agenda. Why I say it's the beginning is because, as has been alluded to previously, they're not brand new, they don't spring out of our heads, but our movement has been fractured, and we need to pull it together. Our various different parts and concentrations in, we need to pull together. We take these basic answers, like Glenn pointed out, of jobs, peace, equality, and justice are the minimum that are necessary. Democratic rights for enable us to fight for them are the minimum that are necessary. A work in progress by meaning that we've got like 12 demands, each of which could be a topic for a conference in of itself. And we, and in fact, I hope that when we go, we break out and talk about implementations, that somebody proposes that. So understand, we're gonna have a basic, a basic demand in these various areas today, and that we will continue a process to deepen, elaborate, draw out more. So don't think you gotta talk it all out today. Let's get some basic unities on some basic questions and then continue to struggle and deepen both our understanding and our capacity to fight for them. So you don't have to get it all today. In particular, in particular, the format, if you go to your package, to your delegate, your conference participants package, the, you'll find a summary of the resolutions presenter will give you a basic uh, presentation of the demand that in the all you'll see that the format is each one pretty much goes like we demand XYZ. Then there are facts and reasons why. In other conferences you may have participated in where dealing with resolutions, it's the resolve, be it therefore resolved that we're finding up top, and that's what we want the body to vote on. The whereas is all of the reasons, et cetera, et cetera, we might have a lot of differences about, but I'm willing to bet everything that I have that we're gonna have a lot of unity on what the basic demand is. And that's where we wanna focus our attention. So don't, let's go spend a lot of time debating on whether it's 12 million or 11 million of this or that, right? Let's deal with how many people, that there's a massive unemployment and we need to do something about it, if I can give an example. All right, in terms of rules, there are not many. Please respect the chair. Let's try to work together, and we've been doing very well. And I give you applause on trying to discipline and, and, and cut down on, on conserve the time so we can get to this important part. Um, we fight for unity. We fight for unity amongst the common victims of a degenerate system that is destroying society and the planet on which we live. So let's struggle hard and struggle clear for long term, not only for short term, but long term solutions to the issues in which we address. The first, any questions on what I said? Good. We can bring them up in the course of discussion and debate. The first demand would be presented. Oh, wait a minute, I need to remind you of the rules. Up to three people can speak for and against each of, of the demands. You're limited to two minutes, two minutes uh, in, in, your, in your comments. Please observe, stand up timekeepers, please. Where's our timekeeper? Two timekeepers, while you're talking, watch the timekeeper. The yellow is the warning, that's one minute. The red is the stop, that's the second minute. The presenters are limited to three minutes, so we've, we've got a discipline imposed on us also. Yeah, four side against side. There are two mics. Hold up the mic. John Womack has one mic. The other mic, I believe, is on the stand over here. Is it not? Yeah. Okay. All right. People clear on 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 how we're going to proceed. 
general. Um, they'll be voting. They'll, they'll, we'll do voting by yeas and nays. Yeas and nays. Simple majority in all cases. Please observe the chair. If there's a difference with the ruling of the chair, we'll count. Uh, we'll count. We'll, we'll count. We'll tell. We'll count the, the actual votes. You're a count. Okay, good. Better be our count. Um, real short. You got three minutes. <laughs> Okay, our first, our first presenter is Jay Arena on the, um, the man for, go ahead Jay, take it. All right, please look at the, in your packet, the demand, first demand, dignified work and a living wage for everyone that wants a job, jobs for all, quality, public services for all. We demand that the federal government create a democratically controlled public works and public service program with direct government employment to generate 25 million new jobs and a living wage. The new jobs will be to build the facilities and provide the services to create the quality public services needed to meet the needs of the 99%, including education, child care, health care, housing, transportation, and clean energy. It will be financed by taxing the wealth and income of the corporations of the 1% through a system of progressive taxation and ending all U.S. wars and occupations and redirecting those military expenditures to meet human needs. Employment in the program is open to all including all immigrants and persons formerly incarcerated and workers will have the right to unionize and to strike. Training will be provided to guarantee access to all jobs. Why jobs for all, public services for all? This demand goes to the heart of, excuse me, I'm very excited about this. Righteously so. Okay, don't take away my time. This demand goes to the heart of why we have organized this conference. This is why we are here. We, all of us, recognize that if we continue to struggle simply on single issues, if we stay in our silos, we will never build the power we need to win our demands. Agreeing on this demand, jobs for all, public services for all, at this People's Conference is a crucial first step in building that power. How does it create power? It builds, this demand builds that power by bringing the entire working class together. It includes all workers native and immigrant, workers of all races and ethnicities, women and men. Jobs for Public Services uh, addresses worker problems at the workplace and in the community. It is a demand that brings together all our movements, peace, labor, education, immigrant rights, health care, prison industrial complex, women, anti-racism, environment, and many more. The only way we can win is fighting for what we want not what the Democrats say is permissible. Power to the working class people. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Consider, okay. those are, again, that is the demand. Please read the demand. Um, and the, we, this is a demand that uh, brings us together to build, build the power that we need to, 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 to build to win what we want. We have to get out of our single issues and come together in a, in a movement and with a set of demands that brings us all together that can create the power to win. If we present it in, in terms of procedure, the, the resolutions that are presented, the demands that are presented by the committee are considered to be moved and seconded. So we don't have to waste time on that. Those in first three people in favor, one in favor, Jay, I mean, uh, Eric, you want to talk? No, sorry. Yes, uh, I'm Eric Lerner with the Jobs for All Committee. I support this demand, but I want to move an amendment to it. The amendment is the one that I think all of you should have uh, which is to add the word phrase before quality public services in the title and in the text, and add through university after education and single payer after health care. In other words, to say that as part of this demand, we are demanding free public, quality public services. This amendment is part of our task here today to put forward a coherent program, not just a set of demands. Free public services is part of jobs for all. You can't have free public services without a massive jobs for all construction program to build the hospitals and schools to hire millions of nurses and teachers that we need. And you can't have jobs for all without providing free public services. Otherwise, people won't be able to afford the services 
that, that the program provides. So we are not individualists here that are supporting each individual demand. We're part of a working class that has common interests and putting a, a, together a coherent program, jobs for all, free public services for all, expresses those interests. In the civil rights movement, we had a simple slogan, equal rights for all. I think we can come out of this conference with an economic program that says jobs and free public services for all. So I urge you to support this amendment. Okay. So we have that amendment. There's a motion to amend. Is there a second? I second. Seconded. Discussion? Discussion on the amendment. Uh, you know, the word free is a great thing, but the, who in the end is going to uh, pay for it? Yeah, I guess the government. Is that the answer, Eric? Well, let me just clarify. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But because, uh, you know, in, if you want to look at the Marxist theory, the, uh, you know, you get your, we get a living wage, a really decent wage, and the, uh, the productivity and the money amount, it, we're talking about the surplus value. So the surplus value is going to pay for this, not free. Free is wrong. If the, su the surplus value will pay for this. Do you accept the, uh, an amendment like that, Friendly. Eric? It's out of order. The amendment is... Oh, okay. Well, I want to adjust the amendment. Change to free. I want to... Quality. And he asked you, is it, is it, is it to be paid for by the government? There's a point the of information. The in the resolution, taxing the wealth and income of the corporations and the wealthiest 1%, ending all U.S. wars, that we can prove is enough to make public services in this country free. We have the money, we've identified where it is. Bill, is that for the amendment? The capitalist well, class well, has to have Bill, 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 time's up. Is it before the amendment or against it? It's against it, isn't okay. it? Okay, who's somebody for the amendment? The amendment, not the main motion, the amendment, which is to change the length, to change the word to free. Speak for the amendment, please. I'm for it. I mean, I, I think it's better to be free. I think it's better to spend the money, the tax money, on this than on corporate bailouts and wars. Okay. Is there an against? There is no other against. The second for it? For? System yeah. seconded it? Yeah, there's no point in demanding public services if you're saying that we want, to be, you know, we want them to be charged for. You're including um, health care and you're including housing and education. We have free education right now that they're ruining. We have health care now that is, is ruined. We, everything that's in here are things that we are saying is necessary for the dignity of life and their basic desires. Okay, and otherwise, why ask for them? Okay, there were two speakers for, there was only one against. I think we're going to vote on the amendment to Jay's main motion. That is to in. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, we demand oh, federal government create democratic control of public works. And public service with regular where to free go. Because free is yep. at the top. No, oh, in the very demand. In the very demand. For all quality public services, the basic demand. You change from quality? No, that changed no. from. But add free, correct? Add free quality public, public services no, for all. That is what you're voting services. on. To change the main, the main demand to free. Just right. add free quality. Right. All the, the people yes. understand? Yes. 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 That's another, that's another, 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 another. Point of information. Yeah, thank you. Uh, can, can we agree if it's a matter of semantics, can we just equate free with surplus value? You Would that make sense? specific it amendment out? to insert the word free. That's what you vote on. If you have any reservations about it, you vote on the word. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. That's the word. Essentially, it's the same. All those in favor of the insertion of free in the demand, signify by raising your hands, please. Opposed? The ayes have it. The, the, now the demand has changed. The reason I didn't ask him is because once the demand, once a motion goes on the floor, it belongs to the whole body. If it's to be amended, you determine that. You have determined to change the demand, the motion that the demand that, that Jake presented to jobs for all, free, quality public services for all, and national recovery plan. On the main motion, people who were speaking for, people speaking against, are there anybody who wants to speak against the motion? 
Hearing none, I think if there's, there's, a, there's a motion to, we don't have to talk about it if everybody's agreeing with it. Yeah, that's <laughs> the there is a, no, there, but that's not my determination. There is, a, there is a call for the vote. That is a motion to determine, to close the discussion. There's a second. All those in favor of closing this discussion, that's a majority. All those in favor of the main motion, jobs for all, free quality public service for all, a national recovery plan, indicate with an aye. Aye. Opposed? None. Demand accepted. Thank you, brother. The People's Fight Back program starts with a demand for a jobs program. Go, Larry. Health care for all. Greg, take it. <laughs> Number two in your packet. We demand national single payer health care, Medicare for all. The Affordable Care Act has been supported by some as a preliminary step and will improve access to health care for millions of Americans. However, it remains inadequate as millions more will still be without health insurance and profits will still, will still drive the health care policy. Health care costs will still be the biggest cause of strikes, lockouts, and concessionary bargaining, and employers will force more workers into part-time and temporary work. For decades, health care costs have risen faster than income in the U.S. and health care costs will still be the financial albatross around the necks of the 99%. A just health care system would provide a cradle-to-grave coverage for all Americans. Okay. Man is moved, seconded. Some speakers in favor of? Doug, you here speak in favor of the, most of the demand? I'm going to want to talk about living wage. But it's not appropriate. It's out of order. No. You can come back to it. You can come back to living wage later on in the agenda. It's not now. Sister? As a registered nurse, I can speak. Wait, wait, wait. You want, to, you want to speak for? Go to the mic. Speak. Correct. Yes, that's what the uh, oh, second one right. says in the packet. I, I can't teach that. My, my vision is a little blurred, but I can hear. Uh, and I want to speak on behalf of the Affordable Care Act. Uh, I think that the Affordable Care Act was passed in 1973. We need to support it because Obamacare, or whatever you want to call it, is nothing more than a band-aid, and it's not going to last from cradle to grave the way single-payer uh, Medicare for all will do. Thank you, sir. Is there an opposed? Nobody speaking again. I'd like to offer an amendment. Friendly amendment. <laughs> Mend is amend. There's no such thing as friendly. Carol, what's the what's what what did you what did you amend? Uh, we ran out of time and we forgot to add. Uh, so I'd like to amend it by adding the Pop Coalition supports the um, and will work for passage of earned sick days at the state uh, earned sick days legislation at the state level as well as at the municipal level. Uh, that's the amendment because right now we have legislation pending. It's out of order, Carol. It's not that's not on the demand of health care for all. It's later on. That's another. That's for another action. demand. For action. That, no, no, it's another demand. It's not. It's not for single payer health care. It's more workers' rights. <laughs> we'll get it in. We'll get it in. There are no op there are no opposition. Is there an opposition to the health care for all? Demand? Well, I just have a question. Uh, I'm on Medicare, and it only pays eighty percent. So uh, that's insufficient. We need 100% coverage. That's all I'm pointing out. So can you put that in there somewhere? Is it a motion to amend? 
Medicare cover Medicare cover? No, no, no. no, no, no. Is it a motion to amend that Medicare cover, that Medicare for all that is referred to in the demand covers 100% of health care needs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the motion to amend. Is there a second for the motion to amend? Second. There's 18 of them. Anybody want to talk in favor of the amendment? Or did he do it sufficiently? Yes, he did. Yes. Is it, I mean, is it quite evidently clear? Yes. 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 If you, you know, take 20% could still bankrupt. Okay. Question. Okay. Question, sister. Okay. Wait a minute. It'll be quick. In terms of Medicare, are we talking that you want Medicare for, say, working people who are covered by their employer? Or Medicare for everybody. Single so, single care. Care. It's for everybody. Okay. He's from the, moment, from the moment you're born to the day you die, Medicare covers you. End of story. As a point of nothing to do with the employer. Oh, right. As a point right. of information, right. currently, some people are covered by employer-based health care. Mm -hmm. Many people are not. True. Okay. That's part of the problem. So we want to, we, we're striving for equality in the society. That money that gets spent, if I understand correctly, that money that gets spent by employers to provide just for his or her employees, mm -hmm. or that company's employees, would be part of the general pool to ensure that everybody gets health care coverage. And that'll be at 100% as opposed to 80%. That's what yeah. we're striving for. That's what we're striving for. Understand in all of these demands, some what we can get maybe tomorrow with certain actions, some of it sets the bar, but it articulates what our people need and what we are committing ourselves to organize and fight for. Well, what you got the, the amendment. Don't, don't the amendment. Oh, oh, right. The, the amendment, right, that's right. There are no, no voices against the amendment. No. All those in favor of the amendment, which understand it means change to 100% coverage, signify with an aye. Aye. Opposed? <laughs> hearing, I'm sorry, abstention. The amendment is passed. The demand for health care from cradle to grave is moved to 100% coverage. Back to the main amendment, that's the, the main motion, I'm sorry. Which is, we demand single payer health care, Medicare for all, includes uh, 100%, and we understand that it means 100% coverage. Discussion? On the main motion? Four, yes, the main motion. The four mic is over there, the opposed mic is over there. I speak in favor of the main motion. Uh, I, I would, in be, on behalf of Medicare for all New Jersey, and I, I, I think we should just modify the title a little bit uh, so that it, it reflects uh, the body of what was written. Uh, the, the title is We Demand National Single Payer Health Care Medicare for All. But if you read everything, we're really demanding it not only uh, okay. Medicare for all, but expanded and improved Medicare for all. That was just taken care of 100%. Okay. Uh, but we are demanding it in the nation and in New Jersey because it's very likely that we're going to wait for a very long time to get it in the nation. So we're trying to push for it in New Jersey first. So I would change the title to say we demand single payer health care, expanded and improved Medicare for all in New Jersey and in the nation as a whole. This is your demand, almost. Your demand. <laughs> you, didn't really, you didn't vote on it I yet, but I got a sense of which way the wind is blowing on this question. I second the motion. And it is in fact reflected in the document in the, in the whereases. And it is the substance of our discussion, recognizing the historic process, how these, how Social Security, unemployment, et cetera, have come, usually have come through the states first before, in fact, the nation catches up with national policy. So that's entirely consistent with what's been demanded and discussed. Do we need to go through a formal process, or, is, or do I sense a consensus to adapt that? I, I, that it be reflected, and it is, that it be reflected in the title that it's national and state I mean, the state and national demand for health care for And expanded and improved for 100% coverage. We understand we vote, no? Yeah. Are we ready to vote? I, I'd like to say Is something. anybody not ready to vote? I'm not ready I'll to vote. What do you want to say, bro? I think we should just be talking about national demands. I live in New York. I want health care. 
you know, uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't have to limit it to New Jersey. We should this meeting should be about demand for everybody and should be implied that it's gonna happen in New Jersey, it's gonna happen in New York, it's gonna happen in this college. Okay. If I may to respond. Why do you make it national and state? That's what we just did. That's yeah. what we just did. That's what we just did. National and state. state. No, no, no. It wasn't state. either or. It's national and state. I know, but we don't. There's 20 okay. states working on it. If I may, you know about H.R. 676, which is the main bill in Congress, uh, Congressman John Conyers. That right now is not going anywhere, but that's the national bill. And with the Obama plan in place till 2020, at least, you know, that's not going to see the light of day, especially with the Republicans controlling the House. And only 58% of congressmen on board uh, in support of that uh, bill. What's going on also around the country, Vermont, California, Oregon, Pennsylvania, New York, they have bills working on state legislations. They are doing um, uh, impact studies. And on top of it, looking to create legislation so they can bring it out on the state levels until such time that we can have a national plan. But in the meantime, better than the exchanges, we're working on state plans. And it reflects in the, um, the, the last part of the therefore. At the bottom, you'll see it. It says uh, regarding an impact study, and then we also demand uh, state legislation for New Jersey. So we're trying to cover both bases and, and not just waiting for the national plan to come to fruition, but in the meantime, we're looking out for the citizens of this state. Well, there was a voice in opposition? Yes. Speak. Yes, I second what this gentleman was saying. I think you're ignoring the dangers that it has on solidarity. Word. Because, because if you have this safety valve of one state having this benefit, the people in Texas or Mississippi who know they were not going to get it in the state, that the only way they're going to get it is nationally. They're going to know that when you guys get in New Jersey, you're going to, you're going to leave us behind. Okay? I think if you, want to, if you want to maintain solidarity and the enthusiasm of workers in states like te Texas and Tennessee, you remove this stuff nonsense in the state so that they don't think that you're going to be that, that you're leaving a little safety valve for yourselves to take care of yourselves, okay, and abandon us in these states that we can't get it without a national plan. All right. So you've you got to worry about the solidarity motion. issue. May I, may I respond to my motion? Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, first, the, the model that we are following in, in the United States movement for, for single-payer health care is uh, very similar to uh, our, our, our neighbor to the north, Canada. And the way they got it in Canada was in the provinces first. That's right. Yep. We have to deal with political reality. The political reality is that we've been trying to get it through HR 676 and uh, National Single Payer Healthcare. That is obviously the goal. That is the main goal. Saying that we want it in New Jersey, saying that we want it in the states, is tactics. It is not a change in the goal at all. Every major health, single-payer health care organization, national single-payer health care organization, has come up, come up with, 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 the, with the same concept. We, we, we are not going to get it on, on the national level until we get it into, into at least some states. It is simply a tactic, and it's a very, very important one. All right. The amendment is to, ch is to reflect in the title national demand and in the, st in the state of New Jersey for single-payer health care. We've heard before, we've heard for, we've heard against. All those in favor of the modification of the title, please signify with an aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. aye. You better take it. Show the hands. Show the nays. Show the nays first. Show the nays first. Show the nays first. Show the nays first. Count. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is on the amendment to add to the title 
Do we struggle for single payer in New Jersey while struggling with single payer on a national level? Is there another one back there? I thought I saw. Fourteen. I get the count of fourteen. For the modification of the title, please raise your hand. Tell a count. One. It's clearly a majority. Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Done. I have the eyes have it. The eyes have it. So that now, on the main motion that we demand, go ahead, we demand national single health care improved and expanded to 100% on the state level and the national level. Well, we've had the discussion, have we not? Yes. All those in favor. Signify with raising your hand, please. <laughs> Opposed? Abstain. One. Eyes have it. We have a second demand. With people's fight Thank you. Health care for all. Sorry to agree with you. <laughs> Accepted. Accepted. No, you're telling the next, the next demand put forward addresses the question of our you. Yes, sir. Right And they were discussing jobs and the inclusion of this person and that person. And I wanted to make sure that uh, something was added, it's like an amendment. By the time I got up here, y'all was talking about something else, I'm sorry. But disabled people should be included in uh, that list of uh, men, uh, women, or whoever, all people. Uh, I think it was like right in the beginning. The demand, the demand is stated is for everybody who needs and wants a job. And if, yeah, if disabled people are able to do some work, they're included in it. And they want to go to work, they're included. Well, it doesn't say that, but that's okay. okay. They're I'm included. sitting there. I'm they're right. included. <laughs> they're included. Next demand address the question of youth and what the situation is, and we try not to write a whole book, but to address some basic issues. Um, Okay, it's broken into a couple of parts. Yeah, we demand free public education for preschool through university. Specifically, we raise this demand of the government because it is necessary that the government provide material resources to save our youth from the failing schools, the failing schools, the prison pipeline, or the pipeline of failing schools to imperialist war machine. That means quality, well-rounded public education, preschool to university, federally sponsored youth targeted unemployment and where the private sector fails a 21st century urban rural civilian conservation corps. It's a demand for less. Educate, the, two, the demand is for, for youth is education and employment. Um, yeah, it's best to take them one at a time. That's the demand. Governments provide education and employment. is having a, uh, it's recommended and uh, approved for the body, so it's not a separate demand, it's one total demand. The, the, all, everything on this page, okay. Yes. The first, yeah, the first two things address education and unemployment. Understanding that the, that's, that's discussion part. Um, and the third thing, we make the demand on the government for education and unemployment, I mean education and employment, we also raise a demand on our movement. And that is that we provide mentorship. And this demand is we demand our movement provide mentorship of work class and oppressed nationality youth. The we the adult forces in the fighting back movement must assist the development of youth, political, their political consciousness and organization to struggle against a social system that more victimizes them than nurtures them. We must seek to inspire self-confidence, love of self, their class, 
and their people to overcome the self-hatred and emulation of the exploiters and oppressors that the ruling class teaches and rewards. Youth are energetic and curious, and we need to channel that energy into productive outcomes instead of the self-destructive, self-hatred that's taught by our society. Education, employment, mentorship. That's the demand. Yes. For, against. Demand to end the school to prison pipeline and keep police out of our schools. Right. Keeping, keep, keeping the move, motion to amend is keeping police out of schools. That's part of ending the school, failing schools to prison pipeline. Question. On the amendment. Got to get a second first. Yeah, is there a second for the motion? Okay. Gene. Second. It's seconded. Okay, discussion. Four. Question. Four. Question. Four. question. Uh, could you explain, what, is, what are you demanding the amend? The government is going to amend? No, 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 our movement. It's right there. Open the, open the book. Okay, so open the book and look at the paper. So it says our movement will mentor our youth. We are demanding ourselves. We are putting a demand on ourselves to pay attention to our youth. Thank you. For the amendment to keep the police out of the schools as part of ending the failing schools to, to prison pipeline. For the amendment. Who's, anybody going to speak for it? <laughs> okay. Is there anybody going to speak against it? Hearing none. A vote. It, question. Point of information. Answer a point of information to the the to the to the maker of the amendment. Please answer the question. Are you talking about all the police? I'm concerned that all police get out of schools and that we stop treating school suspensions in terms of the criminal justice system. Your answer to your question is yes. That's what he means. Opposed. Opposed. To keeping the police out of. I, don't, I just don't think we need it because in this, the, when we say that we demand the resources to save our youth from the school to prison pipeline, we, that can be fleshed out in the discussions later this afternoon. I don't think we need to have a, a separate statement about the school to prison pipeline. Both of the things that, that this gentleman is suggesting can be part of, consistent with this general concept. So I don't think we have to modify the demand to get those good things. Okay, I think we have one question. But... Well, I'm a little confused as to whether you mean keeping the police out 100% of the time or keeping them out as a permanent fixture within the schools. There's two different concepts. If a crime, for example, occurs within the school, it is not unreasonable to call the police. However, I, I think what you're saying is you don't want the police to be a fixture within the schools. Do you mean stop Am I correct? the militarization of schools? Yes. 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 I'm talking specifically about the permanent fixtures within the schools, yes. but I'm also concerned about the increasing use of police to do things like truancy and to put kids through the juvenile justice system. Yes. Yes. So the definition of crime needs to be very specific if we're talking about allowing police to come into schools. So that's elaboration of the permanent fixture concept. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay, so everybody knows what the amendment is? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I think we're ready to vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Yes. One. Okay, the amendment passes. More than one. Amendment okay, back to the main. We demand free public education, free school, free university, and education and unemployment. That's the main demand. There's no against. We just, I guess we just move to vote on this too. There's a question. Yeah. What, as an African in this country, the best public education is a colonial education. The best public education is a colonial education. Does it allow for the opportunity for, for, for oppressed peoples to have funded schools around their own particular questions? Well, the demand is for quality education public, that are publicly funded that both provide for academic, vocational, physical training, and there's room for uh, national expression within that concept. His question addresses the curriculum, is that correct? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Wait, the demand doesn't specifically address that, 
but there's room, but that's implied in the concept of a quality education. That, that both that both enriches the individuals and in fact prepares them to take a play a role in society defending society. Does that mean that, the, that we're dependent upon the, the colonial government to provide that education? No, that says that the taxes that we put into the government pot, we get to de declare how it gets used. Yeah, this is demand on the government. Use our resources to educate our kids and if in, in, in the absence of private sector to employ our kids. Could I move that there be an amendment then that adds the statement of community control of education? That's a good one. That, yeah, that, that makes that, sense. That's good. Yeah. You, this is an open, you can move, but you're going to move, bro. Second. There's a move that being that community control of education be included. It's seconded for the amendment, against the amendment. Anybody for? <laughs> Are there any against? No, 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 no. This is on the amendment. It's on the amendment. The amendment to include community control of that free public quality education. Is there against? Okay. Oh, I'm not against. I'm not against community control. We're against being in this resolution. When I said it, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm very informal person. No, well, sit down and talk. Now you got a mic. No, I'm not against it uh, actually happening if it happens, but I don't see why it has to be in the resolution. When I taught in New York City, we had community um, control. And what we got was patronism and nepotism and people coming in and running things who were other people's brothers. And uh, there was a lot, there was a real decline. In, in education that came from community control. Because the people that are in control are the ones that have the time for that, and they're the ones that are greedy and very often, I mean, sometimes you get people that are really good people. But you get so many people that are um, really not interested in the children at all, that are the community, per se, that you don't end up with better education. So if, if you wanted to go and be that specific and detailed about community control, I, I think you'd have to start really working out what you mean by it and who would be involved. And I would rather have something that's a cleaner, um, that's a cleaner resolution and something like that once we get quality education that's free for everybody from cradle to grave or whatever, yeah. then we can decide who should actually be running it and if we need to change who's running it. Here, here. Yeah. Only yeah. of adding community control. Um, are you for? Are, are, is I'm anybody going to for and against mics? I'm for. The for and the mics. For and against. Go to the mics. For and against. They end up getting overlooked because yeah. they're at the mics. Yeah, Way to go, Shirley. Yeah, we'll write down. That's against. I understand the concern about this so-called inefficiency issue of community education, but that's not really the issue here. The issue here is. We have two choices, okay? You can have a national colonial educational system imposed on you, or you can have community, okay? We, there's not a third super efficient that comes from another planet that's gonna come here and do it for you, okay? So that's the really, we have two choices and we have to make that choice. We can't assume that there's a third choice. We know what the national government's gonna give us. It's yeah. going to give us oppression, it's going to give us racism, okay? So the best education, for better or worse, will have to come from the community. We have to take responsibility. Opposed? Okay, what I would like to see is some of the spirit of that amendment. Uh, but move to the part of the discussion here, which is what we call upon ourselves to do, okay? I think that what we need to do is that we need, as the adult forces of the People's Fight Back movement to press for education for liberation. Okay, and that's a kind of a broad term. Uh, community control has been instituted in so many ways that are so counterproductive. It has been done by governments. Even on the municipal level, that doesn't mean that community means the community, right? It's a, community is a very deceptive term. Um, I, I think that we do need to get to the whole question of the content of education. I've been in the education business all my life, okay? And I know all about education and social reproduction, and it's very bad. So we, we have to 
see that the education that we want would be one that would liberate people from the mental shackles that this whole system puts us on. But I really think that it ought to be in the part of the motion that calls upon us to take responsibility for what happens in the schools. We cannot trust the ruling elite to do that for us in any form. Does the mentorship component meet your need, bro? No, bro. Okay, talk. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you spoke. Somebody who's somebody who speaks for somebody who speaks for the amendment for community control who has not spoken. Just who? What? One of y'all. Thank you. Um, yes, I'd like to speak for, but I don't think it has to be only limited to that. It could be coupled together. You could make it work if you want to make it work. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> Four is over there, against is over here. We're speaking on the amendment for community control. To be in. Against. Against the NSA when they figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm against you. I'm against this amendment because I look at what has happened in this country. Look where the Tea Party people began. They began at the local level taking over the Board of Education. And they have been spewing their venom to our children ever since. So this is what community control means. So that's why I'm against this amendment. Interesting What we've seen here in New Orleans, the reason I'm arguing We can't hear you. Speak up, please. Keep the conversations off the floor, please. Uh, my, my pals from New Orleans, and we've had a lot of experience with privatization of uh, public education. And I'm speaking in defense of community control because part of disenfranchising the people of New Orleans has been taking away community control from their education system. So when they institute this neoliberal program, what they're going to try to do here in Newark and New York, doing it. they're going after the, the school board. And as rotten as some of those people may be on the school board, we don't, they basically taken all the schools away from the board. And there's no way to influence policy. We have this reactionary governor who controls all the policies, Bobby Jindal. And I am very firmly in favor of community control because I've seen in New Orleans, when they take it away, they just steamroll over the rights of everybody in the community. And basically the neoliberals get to impose everything they want, smash the union, uh, put, the bad, put the kids who don't meet their definition of a good kid, like mm -hmm. disabled yep. kids in these schools that really don't do anything. That's right. And so I'm just, I just feel more comfortable with the community control, whether people have some democratic input. Yes, they'll make mistakes, but I think in the long run it will be better. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, we, we, we've already had our fours and against. It's time to vote on the amendment. Okay. We can't debate this anymore? There's more no. We said three, three, a maximum of three, four, four three against. Otherwise, you won't get through the whole agenda. Question? <laughs> okay, on the amendment, um, we're voting on the con uh, community control. Whether to add all, that. All, yeah. Whether to add. Yes. All in favor? All opposed? Count. I think we got to count. <laughs> okay. Four. In favor? Who's, who's counting? I'm counting. <laughs> One of the guys is <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four. Five, this four. Six, Come on. 12, 12, 27. 27. Okay. Yeah. okay. Uh, all opposed. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, did someone think I missed them? Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, 1920, I'm still getting the minority. 
I'm still getting amendment. a minority. I may have been okay. off one or two. But All right. Amendment, amendment passes. <coughs> okay. okay. Also goodness. keep in mind, there in our action planning and implementation sessions this afternoon, a lot of this stuff can be converted into your action plans. So everything, I mean, some of it can be an amendment, some of it can be just added as part of the action plan this afternoon. So keep that in mind. There's a whole lot more to come in terms of action planning. Okay. Um, so moving, I guess main we are on the main... Uh, motion to adopt the, the demand for uh, free public education, free through preschool through university. Employment. And somebody, Employment po and mentorship. somebody pointed out uh, a typo. We'll correct the typo. Oh, okay. was there's, there's a summary and there's the full resolution, so uh, yeah, we just need to correct the typo. Yes. The main motion is for education, employment, mentorship. To form the government, demand on the government, demand on our movement, on ourselves. Mm -hmm. One more amendment, which I think is really important to say, and at least a broad concept statement here, if you want to support youth, you got to support the families that are taking care of them. We need to have a sentence in, I think, we need to have a sentence in there that says that we demand support for families who are with custody care, who are providing custody care and support <coughs> for you, children and youth. Think about the DIFAS taking away kids. We, want, we, need, we have to support family members and not just take kids away from their families. We need to discuss that concept. Yeah. Is there, yeah, I think yeah. it's really, it's, it's, no, 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 I'm saying it's, it's there. I think it needs to be explicit yeah. and it isn't in any okay. So what is your exact amendment? We demand support for families who are providing care custody and support the children and you. Just, it, there's a lot of discussion underneath that. It's right? a motion to amend. Is there a second? I second the motion. Second. second. Okay. Um, discussion? Four. Get four. What do you put? Speak four. If there's no one against okay. it, maybe we'll Is there any? All the questions. Question. Is there any opposition? No. Wait. <laughs> okay, the question has been called. All in favor of the amendment? Yes. Any opposed? Aye. Okay, okay. Amendment okay, passes. So there be a sentence. I have it. Amendment ha passes. <laughs> now, vote on the motion finally. The motion. As amended. Um, yes. Who's to provide the yes. care? Okay. On the main motion. All in favor? Good. Oh. On the main motion. I just like, as the educator, I just like yes. to see the first word on the second line fail and change to low performing. I think it becomes more expansive. I think it hits more to the need of many schools that would not be labeled exactly failing. But low performance. Any objection to that addition? Fail, it's not taken out failing, but it. I didn't. She wants to. It's including. She wants to substitute. No, she substitute. She wants to substitute low performing instead of failing in the first sentence on school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Consensus yeah, is yes. yes. Okay. Friendly amendment accepted. Um, Okay, we're on the main vote for the uh, demand for education. Um, education, employment, mentorship. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Amendment passes. Can I just ask a question? Concern. Just a question. Is there anywhere in any of this that talks about daycare? Yes. 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 Preschool. Yes. No, preschool is not daycare. Cradle to grave. I'm just asking anywhere in here that that's point 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 point. Point. Yeah. Yeah. the demand for jobs for all, free public services for all, daycare is a key demand, a key right that and will be specified. achieved by winning this. Thank you, Jack. That's the first one we passed, right? Yes. Yeah. Call on the next presenter yeah. on People's Agenda for Peace. We switch hats. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have. This is not part of my time. Remember, there's a summary and there's also the whole resolution. But uh, we're trying to give you uh, a summary to vote on. 
uh, People's Agenda for Peace, we demand an end to war and occupation, no war on Iran and Syria, creation of nuclear weapons-free Middle East, redirect military spending to domestic priorities, which means move the money, and pass a budget for all. I think we all agree it's time for new priorities. It's time to bring all the troops home, the war dollars home, the private contractors home now, and redirect that money to restore and expand vital social programs to meet urgent human needs right here. Far too much is being spent on, 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 the, mili on the bloated Pentagon budget, and as we all know, the U.S. ranks number one in world military expenditures. We know that every dollar spent on military produces fewer jobs than spending that same dollar on education, health care, clean energy, or even tax cuts for household consumption. So it's time for us, uh, a budget for us, the 99%. We call for a budget for all that prevents cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and veterans benefits, or to housing, food, education, and unemployment assistance. A budget for all will create and protect jobs by investing in manufacturing, schools, housing, renewable energy, transportation, and public, other public services. No one in Washington wants to talk about raising revenue, but we do. Uh, we know a budget for all will provide uh, new revenues for human needs by closing corporate tax loopholes, ending offshore tax havens, enacting a Robin's Hood tax or a Wall Street transaction tax, and a millionaire's tax and by significantly reducing the military budget. Um, if you're looking for the exact words, this is my summary, not what you see in the paper. Um, I'm just explaining the whole thing, <laughs> trying. And in addition, we call on Congress and the President to use diplomacy, not war and military intervention, to settle our international pro pro problems. We demand that the U.S. not engage in war directly or indirectly with Iran or Syria. We also call on Congress and the President president to fulfill its international obligations by reducing its nuclear arsenal and not spend 10.4 billion dollars to modernize the 400 b61 nuclear bombs the oldest bombs in the u.s bombs with no military purpose i urge you to vote for this amend, uh, for this resolution no i have a motion to amend I'm, i don't have to do this you chair uh, yes yeah, a motion i have a motion to amend and so on the first line, we demand an end to war. Well, the discussion was about an end to U.S. imperialist war and occupation. Why I specify that is that wars of national liberation, I think, are legitimate wars. People fighting for their freedom, as opposed to people who fight for slavery, are legitimate wars. So I'm not opposed to all wars. That's my point. And I would encourage the body to not support blanding all wars, because what you do is you then disarm oppressed people in their struggle for freedom. Why is your Do you want me to my the amendment, is well, yeah, I was giving, I was asking her, but yeah, okay. you share. So He's my amendment is to insert. second to the amendment? The people what it was. The amendment is to insert after two imperialist, U.S. imperialist wars and occupation. Is there a second to the amendment and then there'll be discussions and questions? Second. All right. There are questions? Um, what you just basically said was that this uh, People's Agenda for Peace is demanding that everybody everywhere end war. I thought it meant our country. Well, I, that's why I said U.S. imperialist war. Yes, it does. It is addressing the U.S. Okay, so we didn't mean to really be talking about anybody else. No, we're, this is addressing the U.S., us. <laughs> okay, thank you. Any speakers for or against the amendment? I got a question. Another question. Okay. Yeah. I understand your amendment, but isn't that already understood in, in the resolution as, it, as it's worded? Because we're calling for these... No, to I don't think it's understood. It should be understood because we're calling for these to be national policies. I think everybody's in agreement with you, but I... It seems like it's redundant. All right, well then. Then vote against it. Then you can vote against it. It's not necessary. We have more amendments back here. Yeah, Two more. We have to vote. Well, we, well, first we've got to do the amendments that's on the floor. Okay. Does anyone want to speak in favor or against this amendment? If not, what are, you want to speak I'm on? I'm in favor of it for the 
same reasons he's talking about. You know, we're we're here for a people's conference, and you know, we should be opposing U.S. policies. These are imperial wars; they're empire wars. You know. Does anyone wish to speak against the amendment? We're going to call the question. All in favor, raise your hand. All opposed, I'll take a count if it looks close. It looks like it passes, so the amendment's there. Now, does anyone wish to speak? In, what, was there another amendment that somebody wanted to propose? Yeah, um, I, I would propose that we add the abolition of the nuclear arsenal. That we should get rid of the nuclear weapons, that the only spending should be for the dismantling of the nuclear weapons. In other words, not just the group of bombs that were specified in the resolution. Right. The whole, the whole, the whole US. No, no, no. Nuclear arsenal of the U.S. Okay. Are you sure you're reading the whole resolutions through, too? And is Madeline here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. I, mean, I, already, I already spoke with him. You know, implied in what was written was an abolition of all nuclear weapons, but it's not, it's not stated anywhere, and I have absolutely no objections to be, have it stated outright somewhere. So can we call it a friendly amendment? <coughs> Is there anyone opposed to the amendment? Opposite, ab advocacy and abolition of the, the, US, the, of the US nuclear arsenal. The US nuclear Is the arsenal? amendment to, yes. to abolish just the U.S. nuclear arsenal or the entire nuclear arsenal what about of the world? Israel's nuclear arsenal? We it calls for a nuclear-free Middle East as part of it. The last oh, okay. No, I'm asking what the amendment is. Okay, the amendment is to uh, abolish the U.S. nuclear arsenal and to work towards the elimination of all nuclear weapons. That's diplomatic. We're only the U.S. Yeah. Well, first of all, is that, accepted, is that accepted as an amendment? For, as far as I'm concerned, yes. Abolish the nuclear arsenal of the U.S. and to work for the abolition of all nuclear weapons. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely accepted. It's a all right, amendment. so that's part of this resolution now. Nobody's opposed to it. Okay. I take it Madeline was the principal author of this, so that will treat her as a She was a partial. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. oh it's, okay. There's okay. There's an amendment on the floor. We'll we'll, heck, we'll hear speakers for or against. We have a speaker against. It's a friendly amendment. No, we'll, we'll make it. We'll put it to a vote. Well, the amendment is to you want to get rid of U.S. nuclear weapons and if, and also, but Israel is counted as part of the Middle East. Is that right? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. So we we'll get. So the amendment is the most important weapon. Well, well, what about the Chinese and the Russians? Uh, right. don't this know. says work for the toward the abolition of all nuclear weapons. Is what we just said. Nuclear weapons, though. Nuclear weapons worldwide. Well, which? My question is: Do you want the United States to be disarmed? Still have nuclear weapons out there, so we can so we can be threatened by them. Okay, that's one against. Do we have anyone on the amendment? <laughs> A speaker for the amendment. Is there a speaker for the amendment? If not, there's another speaker again. For the amendment, the United States has the overwhelming majority of the nuclear weapons. Yes. Yes. We can't speak for it. Against. against. And if the United States moves to against. the Anvil's arsenal, can, you get, it can work on getting the well, you know, the, the Soviet, the Soviet... Bennett, Bennett, space. Bennett, you are not part of the discussion here. Right. All right. <laughs> All right. Against. Anybody against? I'm against it because I think it's suicide uh, to have unilateral uh, nuclear disarmament. Uh, there are too many other countries that, that have um, these weapons, and I think that if, if we want... To have an amendment against nuclear weapons, it needs to be against all of them. It was. Not just the U.S. Okay. weapons, against all of them. As a point of information, it was against all. No. Not his, no. His, his was not. His was get rid of the U.S. and work toward right, right. getting rid of the others. Okay. That's a big difference. Okay. 
I just, just um, three? Could I remind people, you know, we can't force other countries to do this. We can work toward it and for America, it. <laughs> we can do that. We've had, okay. We've had, I believe we there don't have control three, four, over the world. I believe there have been three, four, three against the amendment. That was three. So it's time, it's time to vote. It's two each. It's two each? Yeah. Would we have one, 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 one more, not one more round, one more body. Is there someone who wants to speak for the amendment who has not spoken? Who has not spoken? Let him go ahead. Excuse me. Before you. For the amendment, for the, one, the last one. The last one. The, this is a proposal of which communicates to people in other countries our beliefs. And we are proposing to people in other countries that we will get rid of our nuclear weapons. We have to make this proposal so that they understand we are committed to this. This does not automatically say, and there's nothing in the proposal that says, we, we have a unilateral disarmament. That's not what this amendment's about. This amendment is about telling people around the world we are committed to getting rid of our nuclear weapons. We have to make that. We are the first ones to use nuclear weapons. We have to remember, we're not the innocent victims here. We're not the, uh, you know, we're not the sh shying, you know, I forget what the word is, virgins here, okay? Let's, let's, not, let's not be naive. We are the bad guys when nuclear weapons are concerned. Again, last person speak on this amendment, then we vote. Uh, are we going to put in, the, in, include, I hear nuclear weapons, but I don't hear chemical weapons? No, it wasn't, that wasn't me. It was on nuclear weapons. Do you want to add it? Yeah, I should. That's that would be the The motion to include a nuclear um, Chemical and biological weapons. No, small nations have the right to defend themselves. That's the problem. We have an amendment on the floor already. We have to vote right. on it first. Absolutely. That's what Syria is still in. All those in favor of the amendment to the main motion, which is opposition to funding of nuclear weapons, this U.S. disarmament and working for world disarmament. Show with high, high, show your hands. This is for. This is for the amendment. One, two, three, four. Let me see, let me see. Opposed. The ayes have it. It's amended. Second amendment to include. Wait a second. Oh, is there a second for the amendment? It was a handful of people. Turn around and look. There were a handful of people. The ayes have it. It passed. Overwhelming. Did you get a chance to vote? Overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> it passed I, I, overwhelmingly. I second the lady's amendment to there include chemical and biological weapons. It's an amendment to include chemical and biological weapons. Is it necessary to discuss this? No. 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 Nobody? You wish to amend it? I amend it. Okay, other amendments. On the amendment to include biological and chemical weapons, hearing no opposition to the amendment, we'll vote on it. All those in favor? I oppose. Amendment no. passes. Amendment. Yeah. Um, we don't control the world. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm I'm uneasy with the call for Congress and the present president to use diplomacy, not war and military intervention, to settle international problems. I just think that we get into dollar diplomacy and all the other bullshit that they do even when they don't bring out, you know, the guns. What so, the alternative? <laughs> just, just leave it out. Right. Leave the we, don't, we don't call upon no, no, Congress no. and the President to do the right thing about anything. And to settle international problems is, uh, when, when has the U.S. ever settled international problems in a way that's in the interest of the vast majority of people in the world? I just think we should leave it out. Yeah. Uh, the motion is to amend by striking, by striking we call on sentence. Congress and the President to use diplomacy, not war, and military intervention to settle international problems. Is there a second? Second. second. Well, they are the I'm only like game in town. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Discussion. For the amendment, which is to strike the call on Congress. John Womack has the mic. There's a different text. For the motion to strike the language. What are we doing? There is a motion to amend the agenda, people's agenda for peace, 
specifically referring to the back page where it says, we call on Congress and the President to use diplomacy, not war and military intervention, to settle international problems. Yeah. Is there support for the motion to strike that language? Yes. yes. Yeah. Speak. All right, I'm, I'm uh, speaking on in support. I think it, it's obvious, as we said, the U.S. has, even if it doesn't use military intervention, it still uses its economic interests and strength to be able to manipulate uh, international uh, is issues. I think it's kind of naive to, to assume that if we make that demand, that that's the way the United States government and imperialist nation would still function in the world. I think it's just a naive kind of concept to, to, to put in there. The truth is they need to get the hell out of people's business and allow people to run their own nation. Okay, uh, we just heard several inspirational speakers this morning. Uh, Glenn Ford said, if you don't make a demand, you get nothing, right? This resolution, I mean, who makes war? Congress. We have to make the demand on Congress and the President because they're the ones who call war. And we're saying use diplomacy, not war, not military intervention. That is our demand. No military intervention. No war. Uh, we, we can... How about no financial coercion? <laughs> okay, I am speaking against deleting this. We have to make a demand. It is important that we call on the people who make war. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> for the striking of the language. For striking. In response to what the last speaker said respectfully, we've seen with the Syria thing uh, that diplomacy is being used at the end game of a, of a so-called secret war. And the U.S. has been helping uh, wage the war against Assad for two years through clandestine means through the CIA. And diplomacy is part of the process of war. Um, you can't separate it. So asking the U.S. to rely on diplomacy instead of war, to me, is meaningless. You know, I, I, I'm for striking. Against striking the language. Brother, are you standing for that? Yes, I am. Please speak. Well, I, I Somebody feel, watch the time. Uh, I am uh, Dr. Reverend Charles Coles. I feel that once you take the voice out of the universe, that you know and void the universe. That's right. We communicate with each other through speech. And it's better to speak and talk it out with love, <coughs> justice, and equality in your heart than to try to fight it out on a battlefield. Okay. One, one, we had two, four, a third, four, striking. Um, I'm, I'm actually in favor of striking it as well. I think that the other therefores and what we call in the Congress um, gets to the heart of uh, what we want to accomplish. You know, by calling for diplomacy, I think what we're doing is basically just. Um, not really understanding how the U.S. ruling class still operates. You know, when they operate by force, a lot of times that's out of weakness. And when they operate by diplomacy, most of the time that's out of strength. And what we need to do, I think, is, is cut this. And because we, we, while we do want to talk about love and equality, I think 300, about 300 years or 250 years of U.S. ruling class power has shown that we can't trust this government to act out of equality, to act for the interests of the working class worldwide. So, so confused. Okay, I, I don't disagree with anything that you all have said on the other side about how this government and this Congress and this country will likely not use diplomacy, or if they do, will use it improperly. On the other hand, if we, if living in this country, don't ask them, to use diplomacy, they're going to continue. I mean, it's, it's a void. It's something to put up in front of their faces saying, we have to use diplomacy. We can't use war. No more military interventions. It has to be spelled out, I think, because what it does is give our demands one more, one more step, one more layer, one more level. And whether they ignore it or not, if they're going to ignore it, so be it. But we've made that demand, and we've made it very clear that we want no more wars, and we want them to use diplomacy. And if we don't like the direction their diplomacy is going, we're going to say that, too. There you go. Thank you. Right. Here, here. 
It's time to vote. We've had the three four three against. It is the motion is to the motion is to amend the demand as written by striking the language. We we call on Congress and the President to use diplomacy, not war, military intervention to settle international problems. All in favor of striking that language, raise your hand. Tell them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, I get 17. All those opposed to striking that language, raise your hands. Tell it, please count. It's, it's clearly in the, clearly in the One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ooh. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, it's right, over seventeen. The, the, lot, the, the passage stays. Well, Back to the main motion, which is <laughs> into imperialist war and occupation, the war in Iran and Syria, creation of, of a nuclear free world in shorthand, redirection of military spending to domestic priorities, move the money and pass the budget for all. Is, is there any more? <laughs> That includes the amendments we passed. Yeah, for the motion. Jay, are you, are you, are you staying like in the courtroom? Okay. Are you for? I, I have to speak for the motion. Go. Um, I Two came minutes. up here really focused on the jobs for all question, and this motion I want to support specifically for that. And I've got more explanations of this. There's maybe you know, a time to look. But I passed out a flyer focusing on jobs for all, and the first article of my paper is also looking at it. I think the question of the war machine and ending the U.S. wars is critical because we need to fight for that money, which is our money, to get it back. And we need, I think there's a split that isn't really being acknowledged here, but everybody knows it and that's fine. I think we have a split between people here that want to fight to organize the working class, which is the majority of this country, the majority of the world, to fight for ourselves. And there's people that want to go and approach uh, the Democrats or the government and ask them to help us. I think the focus of this conference will be carry out of it. I want to bring something back to Baltimore where longshore workers just went on strike. I want to bring back a program to say, working people, let's fight for ourselves. And I think the key thing to fighting for jobs for all, which can bring those other issues in, all the other single issues that we've been talking about, you know, is attacking the military machine um, and, and destroying it in ways that, that have been discussed here. So that's what I'm in favor of, and I, I want us to do something practical afterwards, and let's, yeah, let's do this. And I want to point out that we're coming up on 1245, and we're going to have to change the schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Opposed? Seeing none, a vote on the, on the main motion. People's agenda for peace. Demand an end to the imperialist wars, the occupation, the war in Iran. I've said it. We know what it is, correct? Right. All those in favor of adopting the motion? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ice had People's Agenda for Peace is added to the Fight Back program. Housing is a human right. Okay, housing is a human right. Yes. <laughs> we demand a moratorium on foreclosure evictions resetting of underwater mortgages to no more than 30% of income, and prosecution of the perpetrators of, this mass, of the massive fraud. As we all know, Wall Street's toxic lending practices and reckless, recklessness created the housing crisis, and now we're paying the price. We know that New Jersey has the second highest rate of, um, nationally of, of homes currently in foreclosure, and nearly one in four mortgage holders are underwater. The housing crisis has had devastating consequences and was caused in part by deliberate discrimination against people of color. color. Urban communities have been eviscerated by the mortgage crisis and women of color, who often are heads of household, are being disproportionately foreclosed upon. 
One report indicates that African American women were 256 percent more likely to receive a subprime loan than white men. Federal foreclosure programs have proven entirely inadequate for dealing with the scale of the problem, and now immediate actions are needed at the state and local level uh, to prevent further devastation. Uh, we declare that housing is a human right, and if the private sector fails to provide affordable housing, the public sector must. You've heard, the, you've heard the demand in favor. We'll make a, a friendly amendment um, to strengthen the demand for housing as a human right. In that first sentence, uh, I would follow massive fraud, comma, and the creation of well-built, well-located, democratically controlled public housing for all those that for all those that need and want it. My second. Discussion of the amendment to add the last line of what she just said, the last thing that she said about adding public housing that's controlled by the masses of people. On the amendment. Okay. It was seconded. Yeah, all right. Can I, can favor. Can I comment on, the, on this amendment? Yes. The way the amendment, uh, the way the thing is written, it says that the housing is to be 30% 30, 30 of income. That is affordable housing. Uh, it floats. It's by whatever your income is. You shouldn't have to pay more than 30%. Leave some money well, that's, for you to That's how I read it, so I just want to point out. That's the meaning. Housing should, the meaning of the language is that housing should not cost you more than 30% of your income. If you make a million dollars, that's 30% of a million. If you make a hundred, it's only $30. This has been U.S. Your housing should not, your housing should not You're make better. Problem. You're not going to get better than 30% of income. We're not trying to. We're saying no more than. <laughs> right now, people are paying 50 and 60% and are underwater. Yeah. That's what we're fighting against. I, this amendment. is on the amendment. What the amendment was to add Jay's provision for public housing. For the amendment, um, one of the problems we have in New Orleans, and I suspect in other areas, but especially in New Orleans, is we just have an all-out shortage of housing. We lost 80% of our homes were flooded, and then the gangsters in charge of our government shut down 5,000 units of public housing. Mm -hmm. And we now have the highest per capita rental burden of any city in the country. We weren't anything like that before. And so public housing is, for us, an essential tool to providing affordable housing. That's why I think this should be mentioned. Before, before the debate goes on, would it satisfy, Jay, would it satisfy if we move the first, there, after therefore, housing is a human right. If the private sector fails to provide affordable housing, the public sector must. If we, if we move that up into the title, would that satisfy in the interest of expedience without compromising on principle? I prefer the explicit language that I proposed. Write it down. Bring it up so you can, we can get it right. right. Because it changed a couple of times. Yeah, I'll, I'll repeat it. The I'll spirit, if repeat. people understand the spirit of Jay's amendment, yes. Yes. and public housing up front, yes. prominent, recognized. Yes. Yes. Sounds good. Okay, any opposition to adding that to what our demand is? No. no. All those in favor, say yes. 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 Opposed? Done. Main motion. We have five minutes. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I got that. The main motion, housing is a human right. We demand a moratorium on foreclosures and evictions, resetting of underwater mortgages to no more than 30% of income, and prosecution of the perpetrators of this massive fraud. With the, with the amendment of the private sector don't do it, public sector will, public housing is, is a right. On the motion. But, 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 but let me just read the explicit language. Yes, yes. Yeah, right. Everybody's accepted. Yeah, we got it. It's accepted. Okay. Just hand us the language. Okay. Is there some, is there, what do you want to say? On the motion, I'm in favor of everything that's in this motion. I just don't think it's sufficient. I think it is an oversimplification of the housing problem. I'm head of the New Jersey Tenants Organization. So I'm not just speaking out off the top of my head. Uh, I think. For the most part, tenants are being ignored. 
in this motion. This is mainly about homeowners. Foreclosure and eviction, right? Oh, well, specifically. Yeah. Foreclosure and evictions, and the evictions are referencing homeowners. They're not That's referencing right. tenants. Uh, the real so so I, I think that something has to be put in here to, uh, to, un to understand that the main problem with housing is with the people who earn half of what homeowners own. Does the body Sorry. accept the spirit of this brother? Yeah, yes. it's, yes. Not, it's not just home owners, but we have to address renters. A couple, yes. a couple of suggestions. Can we give affirmative support? Yes. A couple of, I'll, I'll give you a couple of suggestions. Uh, because it's, it would take too long to do. Right. We yeah. can't yeah. Ever get the forest in. I, I think we should specifically oppose the privatization of public housing. Yeah. Right. Everybody's yes. 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 Opposition to privatization of public housing. All right. And two. I think we're on a roll. And I'll end with number two. Number two is we should call for a moratorium on rent increases in New Jersey. Yeah. Is that our like spirit? Yeah. Yeah. Right on. Housing is a right. Moratorium on rent increases. Listen, folks. I have many more, but I'll stop. We are. This is a work in progress. We don't have to get it all done today. We've got to get the kernel, the essential elements. Now, this is imposing, this is a question of addressing your time. We've got, we are behind for heating by, well, in three minutes we'll be up to it. But we have not finished, we have not finished the, the, uh, the resolutions, our, our set of demands. Could we? <coughs> That's what I'm suggesting. We can't make that determination. We're going to ask them, the people who have to do the work in a working lunch. Can we break, get your sandwiches and beverages, sit back down, and we continue our discussion? That will give us a great opportunity to pick up time. All those in favor of a working lunch? Aye. Opposed? If you gotta run to the boys' room and girls' room, run down the street. Newark, I mean, Rutgers students, in the order of distribution of the food, Rutgers students, please go first. Rutgers rights, civil rights, and civil liberties which impoverish and disempower the masses of people, and because these deprivations cause, result in a more unequal, unjust, repressive society, and because defense and exercise of these rights and liberties are necessary for the political space within which to mount the people's fight back, the conference forces will oppose all such efforts to restrict our democratic rights and liberties, including but not limited to the USA Patriot Act increase in government surveillance and invasion of privacy of the country's residents by all police intelligence and police intelligence and legislative bodies, including women's right to choose abortion and other reproductive and health care entitlements. We will fight to restore and strengthen the Voting Rights Act, overturn Citizens United decision, close Guantanamo Bay, and end detention without trial. It's our demand for defense of Yes, we did. Okay. Does everybody remember what the amended housing demand was? Housing is a right. 30%, no more than 30% of your income. No private, no private provision of housing, public sector provision of housing. End foreclosures, end evictions of homeowners and renters, and support for rent for rent. And a moratorium on rent increases. That's the, that's the mo, gee? All those in, th th we've had the discussion, have we not? Okay, all those in favor of adopting, signify with an eye in the hand, aye, opposed, done. Do people remember what I just read about our defense of democratic rights? Identified what some of them are and why it's necessary. We need them to maintain the political space within which to mount our fight back. Those in favor, oh. He's on the phone. Those in favor, speak on this side. Motion to amend by Gene. Okay. One of the ways that we, one of the things that we need to protect our rights is uh, better access to the court. So I want to suggest that we put in that that uh, paragraph that we want to um, 
restore uh, access to the, particularly to the federal courts, but we can say to the courts generally, because uh, where do you want to insert it? The conference. Um, what I would say is that we impose exactly. all efforts to restrict our democratic rights and liberties, including but not limited to one, the Prison Litigation Reform Act. That's an act that, that limits uh, prisoners from. Um, indicating their rights having to do with their confinement. Can I suggest, Gene, that that's part of an action plan? For, for okay, well, okay. So you could, bring it out, you could bring it out of the, uh, the implementation meeting, small group meeting? But I think we could, we could just put something in about um, increasing access to the courts as a concept uh, well, in this paragraph. And I can't figure out how to do it because I'm... Re restrictions, restrictions on access to uh, federal and state courts. We impose, we impose restrictions on oh, access to federal and state courts. No, no, just add it to your list of things that we impose. Oh, and yeah. restrictions. We, we oppose efforts to, to restrict access. access to the federal and state courts. Thank you, Ben. Greasy government materials. Ben, you're chair of the Magnus Motion to amend these. The motion to amend is adding to the list there where it says including but not limited to. Uh, we'll say including restrictions on uh, access on access to the courts. Can I make an amendment? Okay, motion. Well, there's one amendment at a time. Is there a second to that amendment? <laughs> Chair asks, is there a second to the Shirley second. Oh, sure. Okay. Is, any, is there any discussion on the amendment? Yes. All right, please go ahead up and take the microphone if you're having more against. Two minutes. Well, I, I am for, but I just want to, um, couldn't we make it a little bit more explicit, particularly with regards to, uh, to the uh, lack of due process and the murders, political murders of Alawaki and his son and the other, the other gentleman yeah. by Obama? We, I, I, I think that's a different issue than the one that's being raised by this amendment. So that might be a second but, but access, to access to justice is really and access to the court. That that's not the that's not the issue presented by this amendment. That might be a second amendment that would fit in here. But but Alawaki father was not allowed access to the courts on this issue. They they pulled him in. So his support the struggle well, we're not, we're not, file an implementation question. This amendment is not on a specific instance of saying that there are restrictions on access to the courts generally. <laughs> So, okay, I have a question also. Does this include, uh, by access to the courts, does that include more um, legal services attorneys? And uh, is, that, is that part of that? And also, is more class action suits, since we've lost so much access through class action suits? I don't believe it includes the legal services. <laughs> it does include probably the class actions, the restrictions on class action suits, because that's, uh, Thank you. I think that's what they mean by restriction on access to the court. Any discussion of the amendment? Uh, I just want to speak out against, I would just make a general statement. I think we need to advocate for less access to courts. Um, we seem to have a reformist attitude here or, or, or thinking. And we need to change the system. We need to blow the current system up and build a new one. <laughs> You're saying well, okay. Well, anyone who wishes to speak now in favor of the amendment, I agree with that 100. Uh, percent I'd like to speak in favor of it. Okay. While we're waiting to blow up the courts, there are people who are being beaten and abused in our prisons. Use the mic, please. Yeah, the other mic actually. What? While yeah, we're right. waiting to. Yeah, to blow up the courts, but there are people right now being beaten and abused in our state prisons in Trenton and in the southern states, and we need them to have access to the courts as the soon courts as possible to there. address those individual grievances as well as bring class actions sometimes. Is there another speaker against? If not, any objections calling the question? Let's call the question. All in favor of the amendment? which is adding, including restrictions on access to the courts. That's what we're opposing. Uh, favor? Every, everybody in favor, please signify by raising your hand. 
Okay, anybody opposed? We'll see if we need to take a count. Okay, the, two. the amendment passes. All right, now is there any discussion on the motion in chief? All right, get up to a microphone so we can hear you, please. Okay, to repeat what I said, I mean, the Alawaki murder is just too important to ignore here. I mean, it's the first time in history that an American has been executed by their president. Mm -hmm. Someone born in this country. I mean, we've gotten sensitive to the American president executing foreigners without due process. So, so what is the amendment that you're proposing? So the amendment is, is that we require due process under the law, irrespective of any concerns, national security or any concerns. We need to have the Constitution enforced in all cases. And I would add all uh, not citizens and non-citizens alike. So I would phrase it as denials of due process based upon claimed security concerns? Security or any other concern that they may want to invent, because they're very creative, these people. We oppose any denial of due process. For any denial of due process, there is no excuse to deny due process. None. That's good wording. Right? Okay, including any any and all denials of due process. For citizens and non-citizens. Because we've got to protect people outside the country too. If they want if we expect to be protected when they're in their country, we've got to protect the them. The due too. process clause of the United States Constitution provides due process to all persons. Right. And we should not buy into the fact that it's somehow limited to citizens. Well, that's how it's being implemented right now. Yeah, but we shouldn't suggest that that's how it's implemented in our resolution. I would suggest as a constitutional lawyer. Well, the due process clause says all persons. Right. Well, all right. That's what I want. Thank you. Okay. Point of clarification. In all the, well, we'll say in all denials of due process to any person. Point of clarification. Are we only referring to extrajudicial killing? Oh, um, Executions, or are we talking about any type of denial of due he process? Brought any, he any, brought any, any, all denials of due process to any person. It's, it's um, excuse me. In the United States, the word all does not always necessarily right. mean all. Okay. No, but that's what you're arguing. That, right. uh, through our perception, but if we have to go to court or anything like that, they can see it as something else. I'm just, that I'm just making that statement. I'm just making that statement. In this country, we, and African Americans should know that, okay? Because it's written in the Constitution, all people, all, but we were not included, okay? You have to be very specific. And I agree with the gentleman. We should specify what we're talking about so that when there is an issue, there will be no denying exactly what we're talking about. Thank you. I, the, the point is a valid one. I think what, what it now says in all denials of due process to any person. How about to any human being? Is that different from a person? Yeah. I don't, I don't Come on, let's go. Yes, it actually it is because yeah. the problem with okay. Citizens okay. United, the the problem of citizens yeah. United yeah. is that they determine that corporations are legal persons. Right. Which we right. say. Right. 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 Yeah, we'll take that. I don't want to work for their yeah. rights. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I think I think the person who proposed it accepts I'll any human being as a correctly So the amendment on the floor now is any and all denials of due process to any human being. Very good. Call the question. Anybody else want to speak on it? There's a call to question. We'll call the question. Any objection to calling the question? No, hearing none. All in favor of adding this amendment? Signify by raising your hand. Any opposed? It passes. All right, we're back to the question. Can we call the question, or does anyone want to be heard on the question? Very brief amendment. The question's been called. No, no, no that, that, was was that was on the amendment. Oh. Very brief amendment. Say, oh, and and detention and punishment without trial. Um, I just want to say. Believe it or not, by the way, the government does argue that they used due process in uh, this recent assassination. And therefore, it's worthwhile to make clear we mean no punishment without trial. Anybody object to that? So, which the last phrase would now read 
okay. and end detention and punishment without trial. Right. So I guess it's a, no, it's good. Is there any? Is there a consensus agreement that that enriches the demand and support recognition support for democratic rights? Yes. So can we vote right now? All right. Uh, we voted that. We voted Eric's suggestion to it. Anyone else wish to discuss the motion? I want to bring up another amendment. Well, get, please go to the microphone so we can hear you. Yep. Do it now. Okay. Yeah. You have the floor. Yeah. I, uh, the first couple of words in here, it says, increasing assault. Well, I'd like to bring up uh, the question of 9-11. Uh, I know some people don't think it belongs here, but this sign wasn't made by me. This came out of POP. Time. POP already okay. has a resolution to reinvestigate 9-11. Mm. That's enough. That's, that just happened a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Also, about... Two or three years ago, I brought up another special. Bill, uh, Bill I'm not, I don't think that's germane to the subject. Of think, I think it is. It's, it's part of the democratic right. What is? During not, when 9/11 happened, the New York uh, New York County was not allowed to do an investigation. New York State was not allowed to do an investigation. The fire department was not allowed to do an investigation. This is a democratic right. They had a. a and they had to try to get a vote on it. They had a vote. The people of uh, New York voted to reinvestigate 9-11, but a judge canned it. And it might be an appeal now. So we've, we've done it at POP. And I, I brought up a, uh, some numbers. I know this is English people at this thing. I'm uh, Bill Solo. I've been in POP for 11 years. I, worked, I was an engineer for the phone company. And I was also a, you know, a union rep for my union. Now I know this looks complicated, but all it is is I took the, I took the, uh, the I, I'm not done yet. Time. What you I want to say is you I, only you're out of order, Bill. You have two minutes, like everybody else. You're out of Discuss order. You've made your Senate. point. People will vote on whether want, or not to okay, accept so them. That's it. I want to reinvestigate. I have proof that the buildings collapsed using. Uh, Bill, you're out of order. Is there, is there a second for the amendment of any reinvestigation of 9 11 to this? It's not I, 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 would, I would second it, but I would rephrase it. I would rephrase it. It's out of order. It's not belonging this. I, but I would I'm rephrase it to make it, it in order. It can be made in order. Yeah. I think what he really wants is sort of like. I know what he the wants. same way we want community education, he said he we should have this? in the community the right to, to have a referendum to force them to investigate things we want them to investigate. And in so that is that is that is part of the access to our judicial system rights that we already. Want. What is the well? It may already be in here, in which case we don't need yeah. that. We can, I don't. What is the language of the amendment that's being proposed? What are you asking for? Formulate the amendment. Formulate. We want the community-based referendums. To, to, to initiate investigations. That's not what he raised the amendment. In my amendment is, no, I didn't prove it. I didn't prove it to you in the numbers, but I did prove it to pop. Bill. And here it goes. We're at. We have seen and heard evidence, hard evidence, that the World Trade Center towers could not and would not collapse under their own weight and all the way to the ground, into the basements, Bill, I'm ruling that out of order. It's not germane to this particular motion. Well, I missed, I missed out on with the peace thing. I thought it was voting on something else, and uh, it ended. You went into housing. Oh, that's my fault. No, I, I'm just sharing this discussion right now. I didn't run that vote. What's that? Sir, you get what you want with this amendment. There's no amendment out of order. Is there discussion? Is there this? You should talk with him about yeah. making an amendment. I agree with the motion as amendment. amendment. I'll 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 what is the wait? Is there a proposal a now for an amendment? What is the amendment that's being proposed? Here's the amendment right here. Please, please state the amendment. Bill, you're out of order. Please sit down. <laughs> the amendment is allowing the community to initiate a referendum to investigate specific issues and force the judicial process to act on that referendum. So, so we can force investigations and in things that they're ignoring. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is there a second to that yes, amendment? Sir. Second. All right, there's a second. Is there a discussion of that amendment? What about my amendment? That's you went down. It went down, Bill. Start paying attention to what's being said. Bill, the answer is that I ruled your amendment out of order is not being germane to this, but I will also say that that amendment, if passed, that if that thing existed, by referendum, the people would be able to demand the exact investigation that you're seeking. Right. Yes. Um, yes. Especially when that man's working. In order to, to deal with things that aren't being investigated by the police, it's really quite good enough. I would like to. What was that? I said a re to call a referendum in order to have an investigation of things that the police are not investigating or that this, the United States government is not investigating about 9 11 is hard. I would rather us have the right to have a. Uh, have an investigation to push and pull. I mean, look at Thomas Chamberlain in, in, in White Plains and was murdered by the police. Uh, the, the recent thing on, on <coughs> the, 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 the recent thing about the uh, the member of the Arab Defense League that was murdered by the JDL uh, League in this country. There are a lot of things that need to be investigated, and I just think uh, a vague referendum in order to make what it happen is not going to have what it happen. Do I don't know what I want. Journalists are free to investigate. Anyone else want to speak in, for or against this amendment? Mr. Adams. I think the right to referendum, which we do not have broadly in the state of New Jersey, for example, some municipalities do, some municipalities don't, is a, is a concrete political mechanism an expression of popular will. And it's very important that we have that. It is a way of moving power to the people. It may not be enforceable, but it establishes a political constituency or various views. It's a very important, I can consider this, an extremely strong addition to the demand for defense of democratic rights. Whether we have it right now as a political right is irrelevant. We recognize that it is part of democracy, and we fight for that than fight to make it mandatory that what the people vote for happens. Okay. Except for abolition of the 13th Amendment, 14th Amendment, which they would do. <laughs> yeah, all the things they passed in California through initiative. Exactly. Exactly. That have been exactly. Part of the right. Do it sword, but let's get the sword in our hand. Dull one side. So is it, so are you saying that you, that you think the, the amendment should be implementation of initiative and referendum? Yes. Throughout the country. That's consistent, right? Yes. That's not what that acceptable. What was that? The it amendment has become that uh, well, it's really not an effort to restrict. We're calling for the institution of uh, initiative and referendum. Exactly. Right? One second. Call the question. Yes, Call the question. Any, any further discussion on this amendment? Call the question. Call the anyone who hasn't spoken. Call the, this amendment is that I got to figure out how it's going to fit in here. I guess it would be a new sentence. The conference calls for the implementation of initiative and referendum. No, no, it allows the people the right to determine what they want to what force on their government. What, what initiative and referendum is. Call is the that question. The, I'm just explaining the question. There's a question as to what it is. What initiative referendum is, is that by petition, that's called an initiative, you can get things placed on a general election ballot in the form of a referendum, which if then passed, either becomes law or, or requires the government to do something. It has the force of law. So if the referendum is that there must be an investigation of something, then that investigation would have to take place. A point of order. Yes. What's I didn't hear 9-11 and all that stuff you just said. Oh. Did you tell me about Why, why, was, was somebody second? Can he get the vote that he's looking for? Call the question. Your own rule. I'm calling the question. No, you get it with him after. Yeah. 
In the editorial, we'll put it in. We'll put it. We'll put it in. All right. All those in favor of adding an amendment that says the conference calls for the implementation of initiative and referendum. At all levels of government. At all levels of government. All right. These are the ayes. All opposed. Wait a minute. No, you never asked. Oh, I'm sorry. All those in favor, please raise your hand. All those opposed. It, it passes. Maine. I mean, we're back to the main question. I, um, I have an amendment I'd like to propose. Just to add to, uh, we will fight to restore and strengthen the Voting Act and add the language and end the gerrymandering of voting districts. <laughs> Is there a second for that amendment? Second. Any discussion of that district? No discussion. All those in, I'm calling the question. All those in favor of the amendment signify by raising your hand. Any opposed? It passes. Okay. Is it time to call the main question? I'd like to call the main question. Any objections? Okay, we're calling the main question, which is what is in here with the additions of we're opposing restrictions on access to the court. In the last sentence, we will fight to restore and strengthen the Voting Rights Act and end the gerrymandering of election districts. Overturning Citizens United decision, close Guantanamo, and end, this, and end the tension without, end, end the tension and punishment without trial in any and all denials of due process to any human being. And then there's an additional sentence added. The conference calls for the implementation of initiative and referendum at all levels of government. Point of information was, no, we already, we're calling the, was the punishment in the we don't vote on calling it did. question. You heard it? I, <coughs> I asked if there were objections to calling the question. There were no objections when I made the call, and now I'm reading the motion for a vote. You're out of order. Well, move. then I guess we'll, I, I guess we'll keep all of the restrictions on, on, on public financing of campaigns, because overturning Citizens United won't do it. Well, this is what they wrote so far. I think by Citizens United they're referring to all issues. But in any event, the question's been called. All in favor of the uh, motion as I just stated it. Please signify raising your hands. Any opposed? All opposed? The motion carries. Give yourself a hand <laughs> for amending. You know, the pro you know, all these motions were written in general terms. When you start to get into specifics, it's hard to do it out there. Uh, quite a process. We would love to so solve all the world's problems, <laughs> but a lot can be done in the action plans and implementation plans this afternoon, remember? Uh, quite a process. The next demand, uh, order of process. I, I was wondering to speed things up, if we could just like have the votes on the very most general demand. That's what it's supposed to be. And, and, and let the working groups look out. That's what it's supposed to be. That's what we've asked. But that's not what, that's not what Some we're people doing. don't get it. You know, it's some, some people grant the United the general thing. We're some people want to argue over the particular. And we can only talk through that. Can one of y'all pose that question to all of us assembled here right now so we can see if we can We don't have to. We've already, I mean, we can, the demands are different. Yeah. No, we can't deny people the right but to amend. We can't do that. That would be fundamentally anti I think John Lawrence is saying that could be handled in the next right. phase of today's meeting. Yeah, yeah. I believe that you got to make a judgment call on whether something in okay. fact changes the general principle or whether in fact it's part of implementation. Okay. 
Okay. And sometimes the chair is trying to help point out that it's implementation and it could be part of a small discussion. Let's move on to the next demand, which is in our area of justice and equality. We've talked about jobs, we've talked about peace. In the area of justice and equality, one of our fundamental demands is an end to the war on black and brown America. What we mean by the war on black and brown America is the prevalence of mass incarceration, which is so facilitated by the war on drugs, which in fact turns into a war on black people, black and brown people, men in particular. We oppose police brutality and misconduct. We oppose the political disenfranchisement of these historically oppressed communities. We oppose targeted predatory lending, and we, we struggle to eliminate the chronic poverty that based in the double rate of, the, of black unemployment to, to white unemployment that flows from historic forces of oppression by working for full employment thereby undermine the basis for disunity in the community, fratricidal violence, and general underdevelopment. So we oppose the war on black and brown America that's opposition to mass incarceration, police brutality and misconduct, op op opposition to political disenfranchisement, political <coughs> targeted predatory lending in the chronic poverty that, that plagues these communities. Motion is made and seconded. Oh, chair. Yes. The reenfranchisement of formerly incarcerated. Is that intended to include people on probation and parole? Which the state of New Jersey currently does not permit voting while someone. The reenfranchisement of formerly incarcerated people is intended to mean you do your time, you're a full citizen. Any rights that have been suspended or privileges that have been suspended or denied are restored. Well, no, Larry. His point is that when you're on parole, you're not, you're still confined by law in a way. The question is, should they be able to vote while they're on parole? Yes. Okay, well, that's what we see. As a framer. Okay. Um, No, in fact, the no, demand does no, no, she raises a different point. She's saying the people who are incarcerated should not lose their political enfranchisement. They shouldn't lose the franchise. At any point, while they're incarcerated, they should not lose their They should be able to vote. Then they wouldn't just be bodies in northern in upstate communities that have no say about the resources that go there because they're there. So it's a motion to amend to to enfranchise the incarcerated. Correct? Not just incarcerated. Anyone convicted of a crime. But Very good. The franchise. Yes. Right. You don't lose the franchise because you've okay. been convicted of a crime. Okay. That's the meaning, correct? Yeah. We'll work out the language. You know what it means. The general statement is sufficiently broad for us to have a good discussion. Sorry. Using my. I think that the uh, the introductory statement is sufficiently broad for us to discuss some more details in the afternoon discussions. But the one uh, thing that I think that we should put in the in that first uh, part of the blurb is we should add we demand an end to mass incarceration, comma. Um, transparency and accountability in the prison system. These are very important things because one of the reasons the prison system is so daunting is that you can't get in, you can't find out what's going on, and the people, none of the branches of government are holding the prison si system accountable. Um, and so if, I, if we could just add that language, then that would be... Re that again, we demand what? Transparency, transparency and accountability in the prison system. Yeah? You didn't have a vote on the thing about not disenfranchising. That should be a second amendment. Okay. Good point of order. Thank you. Okay, we are voting on the first amendment. Uh, which is uh, to no disenfranchise. No disenfranchise. Upon conviction of crime. Anybody convicted of a crime. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Amendment passes. Second amendment. Okay, on the second amendment. Transparency and accountability in the prison population. Um, prison system. 
And actually, I would really like us to specifically add a demand for community-based oversight of the prison system. Which community? Yeah, yeah. Commun the community, the people of the state of New Jersey. Business for the community. Business. Excuse me? Community business. Not just visits, community oversight, monitoring, yeah. supervision. Community. Most states have some form of, of, of oversight of the prison system. I'm suggesting that community-based oversight. Um, so and then we could go into the details. Because currently it's just appointed commissioners by the governor who have to say all the prison system, right? Uh, right. Yes. That's the current situation, which is yeah. inadequate. So this is part of the same trend, same amendment. We got transparency and accountability in the prison system. Prison system uh, community based uh, oversight. Yeah. So the prison system, system means those those profit making halfway house includes those profit making halfway houses, not just the prisons and jails. Okay. Any discussion on the amendments? That's another amendment. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. I think we should also oppose we should oppose the privatization of, of the prison system in any way. Okay, oppose privatization of the prison system. Clarification. We have a second already. Is it, we have a point of information? Is this discussion over privatization? Yes, right. There is, there is already privatization of many prison functions, um, like the commissary. There's already privatization of many prison functions. So I think we want to be clear with that we don't want private prisons on the one hand. But I don't know that we're, we want to go so far as to say that there's there are no privatization of any of the services. I think we should. I think we should stop at the no, no private prisons, no privatization of the prisons. Right. Okay. We impose privatization of prisons. That's the yeah. Oh. We got a okay. second. Not any for discussion. Okay. It's a class mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? I have one. Um, you mean to admit a mentally ill? Yeah. Well, mentally ill people are possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Some are, some are. We have you made that generally, don't we? It's not, this is, as a point of order, this is specifically talking about the war on black and brown America. Who, which includes the mentally ill who fall into that, those, those sectors of society. But it's not the general how to fix every, all the, everything in society. So it's, in the, um, it's under the question of the mass incarceration. They're incarcerated to an inhumane degree. Worse than them, they're prisoners. Are we not inhumane incarceration? Never get out. No, but, but mentally ill. Is that a struggle for humane incarceration and rehabilitative yeah. services? Of the mentally ill. Yeah. That's a whole new problem. Including the mentally ill? This would be Get anybody. This is anybody in prison. I think I think she can, I, I think I know how to fix that. The struggle is humane incarceration. Humane treatment. No, no. Okay, but it's the struggle for humane incarceration. Leave that for a Humane treatment. Leave it for a minute. Not and rehabilitation services not only in the prison system but also in the mental health system. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. different. The mental health system is yeah, a different is, system which we're not talking yeah, about. We're, 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 talking we're, about we're, we're, we're talking about the war okay. on black and brown America. We're talking about mass incarceration, mass incarceration in the prison system right now. Okay. Well, there has to be a way to put the mentally ill in that sentence without Okay, we got somebody who wants to add something. If we change the word incarceration to detention, that should account for this discrepancy. Detention is not broad enough. Detention isn't broad enough? No, it's in prison. Okay, it sounds to me like nobody's got an amendment yet. Is there a consensus feeling that the consideration is being raised? Because it recognizes if you get in, if you get put into the mental health incarceration system, it might be worse than if you're in the, in the criminal incarceration sentence because you never get out. You know, you, you get a bid over here, over there. It's just when some doctor says you can get out. 
So is it, which means you may be there for life. So can, is there a consensus acceptance of that consideration? Allow the editorial body to work it into the into the either in the democratic rights or in in this one to deal with the with the incarceration of mentally mental health mentally challenged people. Okay, Lisa was next. Wait, well, you can answer his question. Yeah, let me get an answer to that. Is there a consensus view to accept yes. that concern? Yes. Yes. And yes. instead of us tying up everybody's time yes. to work it through, give it to us and we'll incorporate it into the debate. Definitely be a concern, but I just don't think this is specifically pertaining to this issue. I think that there's a broader concern. Okay. I don't know if that she was specifically struggling for it there, but she wants it included in the People's Fight Back agenda. Is there a consensus that we will incorporate that humane treatment of the mentally ill? Yes. Good. Done. We did it. Get to the main motion. We got it. Trust me. It's, 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 it's by accepted by consensus. It's accepted. I think that any discussion of justice for um, black people must include the issue of reparations for the descendants of the African slave And I think that that should definitely be included either here or some parts in what we're doing. Have you got a specific amendment? Words you want to add? Well, the very broad one is we also demand reparations for the descendants of the African Holocaust. Did everybody hear that? We demand. I need the mic. I need the mic. My mouth is not big enough. We demand reparations for the descendants of the African Holocaust. We can get into more discussion about that, but we must ensure that. Okay, it's been seconded. Discussion? Clear? Oh. Hi, good evening. All in favor? Any opposed? I had a point of view. Discussion on the question. I called for discussion and nobody said anything. I'm opposed. It's unworkable. Okay. I'm sorry, what? It's unworkable. Okay. There's no definition for African Holocaust that's, accept, that's accepted. And so I think maybe it should be a little more. Uh, Reparations for descendants of, you want to say something else besides Holocaust because that hasn't been defined. Yeah, I believe in that. Yeah. Well, that's in the back. I think it's it's a good uh, uh, motion. It's a, it's a good, uh, but uh, I think African Holocaust is not really uh, well defined, so I would propose that you rephrase this so that it's more uh, to the point. Yeah. No, no, no. I would like to offer a little bit of different wording. We right, she's got different wording. Give her the mic. We demand reparations for the descendants of the um of the African slave trade. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And all that that implies. Yes. Okay. And the African slave trade and all that that implies. Is that acceptable? Uh, wait, I, I. Okay, I, I just propose that there be an inclusion um, also of indigenous peoples, uh, Mexicans, you know, people who have been murdered, oppressed, their land stolen, just to include that in addition to the uh, African, the descendants of African soldiers. All indigenous people of the Americas. It was to add uh, and also for all indigenous um, Americans, uh, indigenous <coughs> peoples so of the Americas. Yeah, that's that covers the Chicano Nation, it covers all the people who are depopulated. All indigenous peoples. Okay. okay. Any discussion? Oh, I guess we need a second on that amendment. Second. Okay, we got a second discussion? This is about reparations. Yeah, this is in the amendment to add indigenous peoples of the Americas. No, no, that was accepted. No, no, no. It's the reparations amendment. Okay, with respect to the reparations amendment, which I, which I support as a concept, I'm not sure that it goes in this part of the 
agenda. This is the war on black and brown people. We're concentrating on the, basically the criminal justice system and the exploit financial exploitation um, through predatory lending and stuff. It, maybe it needs to be a separate, maybe it needs to be a standard. Yeah. Okay, so that's an opinion, everybody. This is discussion. Okay. In support of the motion. Okay, yeah, we're back to four and against. So you support? Yeah, I, I, I support I support the addition. Matt, take the microphone. Take the mic down. I, I, I support, thank you for not making me walk out there. I support the addition uh, of, of Indigenous peoples. I, I don't think it should say the Americas because I think it, we are only talking about it in this country. I think it should be of just the Indigenous peoples of, of, of this country. Um, uh, basically, because I think genocide is is, is a worthy thing uh, to uh, uh, have, have reparations for, um, and perhaps we could say black, brown, and red. America. Fifth indigenous people of the Americas. That's the whole Western Hemisphere. All the Americas. It's the whole Western Hemisphere. It's the whole Western Hemisphere. Whatever. There's a consensus on accepting. That's four. Is the talk right now outside the realm of reparations? Is the talk right now outside the realm of reparations? The amendment before us is to add uh, reparations for descendants of African Americans of the slave trade and uh, and indigenous. Of America. Of America. Can I say something? No. Oh. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. It's either for or against. I'm against. I'm against reparations for descendants of black, brown people, and indigenous people, or any other victims. Okay. Descendants okay. should be excluded. Reparations are things you cannot give reparations to the victims. And I don't think the descendants have to stand on their own two feet and live in the present and the future and earn their own way and earn their own struggle and not lean on the pain and the suffering of their ancestors. What you're talking about? This is a new day, a new age. The past is the past. <laughs> the present is the present. Make a new day for yourself. Stand on your own two feet. Or in anybody else who has not spoken, remember? Listen, the, the issue of reparations is not, it, it concerns as a question of justice, but it's not just a question of justice. Excuse me, order please, we have someone speaking in the mic. The issue of reparations is not merely a question of justice. It's a question of the economic system, how it exists today. White people forget that their standard of living is based on stolen wealth. Well, so reparation is a matter of redressing that issue. It would not be poor today. Okay. Good point. Okay, I see no one else call speak again. The question has been called. One point of, is this somebody else against? Against is next. If we don't have anybody else against, we, the question's been called. We've already had four. We have no one else against, so the question's been called. All, all in favor of adding reparations of descendants of African American slave trade and indigenous uh, peoples of America. Of oh, the Americans. Yeah, aren't they two separate The amendment has been made, folks. We're voting. All in favor? We're adding the reparations amendment. Okay. Okay. Our counter, uh, are you looking? <laughs> All against. Anybody opposed? Okay, pass. Overwhelming. Okay. Huh. On the motion. I mean, on the main motion. On the main motion. And the war on black and brown. Main demand. The war on black and brown. As amended with. As amended. Consider it with a, a support for reparations. Okay. Okay. We got it. All in favor. All in favor, calling the question. All in favor of calling the question. That means terminate discussion. 
<laughs> no, it doesn't. We said all majority. We said the rules. That's two thirds. Anyway. Let's see this one. That's two thirds. Right. You want it, but we said majority. Question is called. Okay. Good. All those in favor? All in favor of the whole demand? Yes. Any opposed? Okay. It is passed. Ready? Oh, what? I don't know if everyone's as tired as I am. Thank you, folks, for your patience. Thank you, thank you. Struggle is tired. Let's vote on the. I, I think we should all congratulate ourselves for. For being here and doing this important work because it's exhausting. And let me just suggest that, in the terms of the the um, set of demands, the issues that I'm about to raise are about four or five or six people after this. If we can move through this as quickly as possible, yeah. Yeah. then we can get to smaller groups and discuss how to do this right. laundry list right. of virtuous yeah. things that we've decided on. I mean, we got to we got to move on. All right. So bearing that, bear that in mind, I'm not just trying to slide my thing through, but just make sure that the objections are not trivial, okay? Here we go. Um, the Now New Jersey program, well, the demand, I don't like uplift, but let it be. Uplift and equality for women in all spheres of life. I'm not going to object to that word. Uh, the Now New Jersey program for economic justice consists of long-term, middle-term, and immediate goals. And um, I'm not even going to distinguish between and among long-term and mid-term and what comes next because some of my sisters have said some of them should be not seen as long-term. So the goals include equal rights amendment, equal pay for equal work, opposition to job discrimination of all kinds, promotion of unionization, an end to homelessness, progressive tax codes, full recognition of the social value of women's unpaid labor, whether in child rearing or caregiving, uh, other goals involve confronting the current attack uh, on the haves and have-nots, which we've been talking about all day. These include reversal in the cutbacks in public sector spending and end to predatory lending, which we've talked about, full protection of Social Security, same there, minimum wage issues, oh wait, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, an end to predatory lending, full protection of Social Security, I'm sorry, I'm not seeing things. Immediate issues, excuse me, uh, uh, entail passage of several pending bills calling, these are right, you know, right now out there. Uh, calling for an increased um, minimum wage. I, I keep uh, uh, getting distracted here. Paycheck fairness and statewide paid sick leave. Now, a key point. While particularly relevant to women who continue to experience significant economic discrimination and insecurity, right, 79 cents on the dollar, all these goals are, are beneficial to men as well. They are, moreover, of especially urgent importance to low-income women, female heads of household, and women of color. And some of these things are redundant with what we've been talking about already. So just things that I would like to emphasize are that, um, number one, in the so-called recovery, uh, because of the incredible attack on public sector workers, women have had an extremely hard time regaining uh, employment at anything like the levels that they had before, which weren't very good anyhow. Um, the business about foreclosures and evictions, it's important to know that um, women were dragged into these predatory lending uh, situations in a way disproportionate to men and women of color in particular, so that the you know, egregious attack that's gone on in the whole housing business has been particularly hard on women, particularly hard on women who are the heads, heads of households. And then I think the, I, I, I guess a lot of these points are, are self-evident, except I, I think that a really important, you know, large political point is this business of the full recognition of the social value of women's unpaid labor, whether in child rearing or caregiving, which isn't to say that only women do that, but we all know that disproportionately that's the case. And then, of course, when people are eligible for Social Security and all of that, if they've been a so-called, you know, housewife all their lives that it really has an impact on what they're capable of doing later. Uh, one last point, Th this is the NOW program for economic justice. We're not raising the whole laundry list of everything that it is that NOW stands for, you know, like marriage equality. I know abortion rights were raised in an earlier um, measure that we passed, but divorce reform, all of that. And I'm not saying those things are unimportant, but for the purposes of this particular conference, we're not, we're not bringing in everything but the kitchen sink in terms of everything that NOW believes is important and fights for. So. There we are. Is it correct this is not open to amendment because it's to endorse the policy that now has already adopted? Oh, I see. I, no, I, I think that this conference could amend its connection with those now policies. Otherwise, it's just a rubber stamp. So I, good, I'm glad you asked that. Yes, the amendment is, I mean, the resolution is written is to adopt the now policy, which is before you. Um, but it can oh, be tweaked. Okay. All right, this yeah. is, um, well, 
We need a second first. Second. <laughs> okay, we have a second. Discussion. All right, we have Bonnie and then, what's your name? Betty. Betty. Bonnie and then Betty. Yeah, hi. I'm actually a board member of NAM. I'm actually, uh, thank you. I'm actually a board member of NAM, New Jersey. I have two amendments. I will do one and one later. Uh, the first one would be a sentence that would be inserted. The women will never be equal in economic terms without an end to the rape culture and the widespread abuse and violence toward women. Okay. The last item where it says tenants' rights reform bill passage refers to S2018, which would give tenants the rights to attorney's fees when landlords have the same right. And that's, that's at the, um, the winning party. The long right now, yeah, Landlords don't. have it over okay. tenants. It's already in there, right? It's, I'm just clarifying. It's, 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 it's in there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. okay. If it's in there, let it go. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> and I, know, I know we've talked about, you said, reproductive rights, but I think we should speak to the issue of abortion rights and against forced sterilization of women because that is very much tied to an economic issue of women's right to control their own bodies and to and you know right now the government pays for sterilization but they won't pay for you to have an abortion so I think we really have to address that issue in here as well, abortion rights was raised in one of the earlier ones so maybe yeah, right, right. Can you, can just as a board of right. economic determination right can, again can you come up with language for that yeah. I mean, yeah. just just that uh, demand safe legal free abortion on demand and no forced sterilization to ensure women's economic independence. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Well, good one. Okay. Um, we have four and against. And but I, I just want to make a plea to folks. We have come here not simply to talk about these demands, but talk about how we're going to win them. So I would really encourage folks to please move things up. This is not a model UN, right? right? We're talking about broad demands, not minutia that we're going to apply. Right. Uh, write to our congressman about. So this is to keep the big picture. We have to move forward. We don't want to leave here with just talking about the demands and no action. And we're in serious danger yes. of doing that. Yes. yes. Is there a motion to terminate discussion? All it takes is a simple call to question when you I want to. Question. Question. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question. This is like. A, a, this is like a friendly amend amendment. I would rather just, I would rather broaden the discussion, and I know I may have been mentioned about abortion rights. I think we should use a broader term about reproductive health, which would cover it all because there's so much that is going on. Right. There is a motion to terminate the discussion. All those in favor of the motion, please signify with an aye. Aye. Opposed. Aye. Moving right along. Now to the main motion. Vote. Okay. Or the, the, the entire demand is now uh, on women's rights is before you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? We'll get that supplemental thank language. <laughs> and we do thank you for your patience. Remember, the important work is getting action plans together on these issues. And if we, you know, we, we are not trying to solve every single problem in the world as much as we'd like to. The next demand is on workers' rights. If you would refer to the resolution to your. It's in the form, old style form, of resolutions were submitted by participating organizations. And essentially, the demand is that we that the, that the forces of the People's Fight Back Conference would actively support all efforts of unionized workers to defend their wages, benefits, and living standards, and to improve these where possible. Two, where a recognized union or collective bargaining agreement is not present, support all actions of workers and their supporters to come together in any way possible to organize and fight to improve living standards of themselves and their families. Three, seek all opportunities to combine this economic struggle with effective political action at local, state, and national levels designed to institutionalize these gains and to enhance the rights of working families and the poor to maintain lives of dignity in safe and prosperous communities, appeal all restrictions on the right to unionize, organize, and strike. Larry, I think you mean repeal. I did say repeal. You said appeal. It's written up well, it's written appeal, but I, if I said it, it was the intention was repeal. It's supposed to be repeal, not appeal. Okay. 
shit. Okay, we have the band in front of us. All the questions. All questions. All in favor of calling the question. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, what? Well, we don't do a close. Okay. Um, all in favor? Yeah. Aye. Any of those? Workers' rights. Uh, Here it is. Immigrant rights. You're welcome. Okay, immigrant rights. We demand legalization for all, equal rights for all, no more deportations, and free, uh, fair trade, fair trade, not free trade. Uh, all undocumented immigrants deserve basic rights and protections because no human being is illegal. Uh, de deportations that are at all-time high, 34,000 monthly, and should be stopped immediately because families should not be separated. Uh, we support family reunification, and we call on Congress to uh, create a rapid, and well, I'm just going to uh, go to the fair trade to get a word in on that. We call for a just immigration reform that addresses the root causes of, immigra of migration and their call, therefore call for fundamental changes to NAFTA, CAFTA, and all free trade agreements that cause poverty and unemployment and force people to migrate to survive. We oppose the new Trans-Pacific Partnership, the largest trade deal yet being negotiated in secret, and we do not want a corporate coup d'etat against us, as, so we call on Congress to defeat Fast Track, uh, what they're trying to call Trade Promotion Authority, to make it sound better, fast track is a totally undemocratic process. So uh, that's dealing with root causes of immigration. We demand, um, oh wait, that's the next demand. What are you trying to get me to do? Okay. All right, let me. Yes, uh, one more, one, he, he wants me to point out one more thing. We, I mean, you've got a summary in front of you, but we call upon Congress, I think this is our, it's there, uh, to provide immigrants with equal access to health care and other public benefits and to ensure full labor and workplace rights, uh, including uh, let's say workplace rights and protections for all workers regardless of immigration status, um, including the right to organize and enforce worker protections without retaliation. So basic worker rights for immigrants is what we're saying. Moved and seconded already. Four and again. Fast track means she did. Tell them. Fast track uh, is uh, is it's put before and Obama is calling for this. Um, it's it puts the vote before Congress uh, without debate. They get about a couple of hours debate. They have to vote up or down. No amendments. No in this little tiny discussion period. Uh, so it's just a totally undemocratic process. Track and it's up or down. Free trade agreement. Which is how NAFTA was approved. It's how NAFTA was approved in the big sucking sound of jobs. Wow. Well, we have an amendment. Oh, I'm the um, This for, against? He's got an amendment. Motion to amend. What's the amendment, brother? Just implementation, bro. Implementation. That's implementation. Okay. Bring it out of the capacity okay. small But I would say uh, it's a friendly amendment. It's accepted. <laughs> it's a good thought. <laughs> Four. Against. Seeing no opposition. Who? A motion to, oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to, uh, for it to be taken into consideration that violent criminals be excluded from being deported. Okay. As part of the immigration? Are you saying that they can be deported or they They can. That's what he's saying. Yes. So it's a motion to amend to exclude violent criminals from the end of deportation. From the end of deportation. Is there a second for the amendment? The mo their motion is seconded for the amendment to exclude quote unquote violent criminals. Well, to end all deportations except for violent criminals, I guess we would. Is that? That's yes. right. easier understood. Yes. Right. End deportations ex except, except, except for violent, for violent criminals. criminals. 
for for or, or against. The motion. You need a second to the motion. There was it was second. It was seconded by a couple of people. For the motion, against the motion. The amendment, the motion to amend. Against the motion to amend. That's you, Eric, is that not? Uh, are you? Somebody take the mic, please, so we don't waste time yeah. back and forth. I strongly oppose the amendment. The, the government has used this immigrants or criminals, you know, propaganda to, you know, denigrate and criminalize the entire immigrant population. People who are violent criminals obviously deserve to go through due process, and if they're guilty, they're punished by jail. To punish them in addition by permanent exile, often from the only country that they know, is, is completely unconstitutional, and it simply feeds into anti-immigrant prejudice. So I strongly oppose this. There should be an end to all deportations. For the motion. Here, no further fours. For the motion? Against. 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 One, two, three, that's it. Against. Go, we G. can't depend on our, our so called criminal justice system to identify violent criminals. They, that kind of language will, they will sweep in all kinds of people. The person who resists so she's a against. violent arrest or being One, assaulted two, three, by against. the police will be charged as a violent criminal and then removed from his family. I agree with what Eric. Eric said, um, and I think we should vote down the amendment. Third person. We don't have to have three. We don't have There's a special case that we have to be worried about, and that's people are defending the strike line. And we've got to start encouraging people to fight for their strike line and, and yeah. keep scabs from breaking our strikes. So we, we, we need violence, okay? Do I hear a motion? Thank you, violence is. It, it, sometimes it's needed. <laughs> do I hear a motion to close the discussion? Yes, you do. Yeah. All those in favor, closing the discussion. Aye. Aye. In, to vote on the on the amendment, which is to insert no more deportations except for violent criminals. All those in favor of the motion, signify with an aye. aye. Opposed? Yeah. No. Yay. Motion fails. Back to the main motion. Come on. Uh, motion to amend. <laughs> What is the amendment? Sister? The amendment is the, the release of detention from people, from people who are currently in detention throughout our country. I don't think that concept is in. To call the for the release of, of detain of, of detainees. immigration detainees. Immediate release of detainees. Is there a consensus on accepting that? Yes. Yes. Okay. The main motion <laughs> is amended with in, with release of immigration detainees. Yep. We've had enough discussion on this? Yes. All those in favor of the motion indicate with an aye. 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 Opposed? You added another <laughs> plank to your fight back program. Hey, folks, we are almost it. done. We're going to get through it and get to <laughs> what we're going to do about implementation. Now, we, we're excited. just a couple minutes away I'm from up. our action <laughs> groups. I'm not. You I'm senior. <laughs> I'm, I've, I've got mine with me. You got to. The next confirmation. The next confirmation. The next demand, conference resolution demands, addresses the situation of seniors. We demand that the social safety net for seniors be preserved and enhanced to ensure that the later years of life may be lived in dignity and respect. The austerity, the austerity plans only increase poverty and inequality. Most, for most seniors, income stability and necessary health care require maintenance and expansion of Social Security and Medicare. So we demand hands off Social Security and Medicare, ensure that financial stability of the programs by removing the cap, which is currently $87,000 on incomes tax to finance the Social Security system. Sorry, it's 113000 That's right. It's an error. Okay. Which means, everybody knows what that means? They stop taking taxes on on income over 113,000. So millionaires collect, but they don't contribute. And in the meantime, they talk about instability of the social security system. We say hands off. We also want all the other programs that contribute to supporting seniors and maintaining dignity and respect in the later years of life be maintained and enhanced. Meals on wheels, etc. Things we don't know about or not mentioned, but support the lives of our seniors be maintained and defended and protected. In the richest country of this world, the reward for a lifetime of work cannot be poverty, hunger, homelessness, and humiliation. 
We demand retirement with security, dignity, and respect. In favor, opposed. This question of, go ahead. What do you want? What do you want to say? Property taxes, there needs to be something about property taxes, like a cap on property taxes or something for seniors. I don't know how to really word it, but I just think the issue of what's going on with their taxes and property taxes. Can you bring it out of implementation of how we fight to maintain security in the seniors? Senior property taxes. Right. They're taking their land and all that. Is your motion closed discussion? Okay. Is there a motion to discuss? Closed discussion. What people call, call the question. Okay. All those in favor. It's on the senior resolution. We demand that the social s safety net for seniors be preserved and enhanced to ensure that the latter years of life may be lived in dignity and respect. And we talked about with some of what that means. Okay. We have an amendment. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. There's, There's, There's a motion to amend. It. No, we didn't vote on it. We didn't vote on it. To close the discussion. You raised it. We didn't vote. Sister, that would be an implementation resol that would be an implementation suggestion. Bring it out of the small groups if we ever get to them. But that's an implementation on how we preserve and enhance the social safety net. That's what the demand is. Close okay. discussion. Is there a motion to close? Can we close the discussion? No. We didn't vote. Yeah. Excuse me. Is it, we are voting to close the question. The discussion. All in favor? Aye. Mary. No, Jean. I'm sorry, question. I want to know about the safety net that um, we, um, you know, people in America will lose uh, with this sequester. I want to we are struggling net. with this amendment to yeah. make it a part of our fight back program. I mean, I mean, for Preservation and enhancement of that safety net. Okay. The principal mechanism of which for seniors is the Social Security not program. Only, not only Social Security does not just address seniors, but for many seniors, it is the sole source of income. Excuse me, we have already dealt with that in another resolution. You did. Uh, and we said no cuts. <laughs> no okay, cuts. Okay, that's okay. it. That's it. That's, that'll work for me. All right, all in favor. All in favor of what? All in favor of, closing the, of, of calling the question. We have an increased population of elderly people in the prisons. It's a different issue to say increase the opportunities for release of elderly people from the prisons. Any objection? Second. Any objection to that? No. 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 By consensus, it'll be rolled okay. in. Please write it down. Release of seniors. Anybody who's adding these things, you've got to write them down and pass them in to us. Okay. Thank you. Um, on the main motion. On the main motion to accept, uh, to pass this resolution. <laughs> Supporting seniors. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Environmental justice. <laughs> Last resolution, y'all. Last one. And then okay. Take minutes, breathe, and then we will begin the discussion of implementation. Uh, Ingrid's that? ready. Okay, for the next for the next part. Okay, we demand environmental justice and an end to environmental re racism. Environmental justice deals with the inequitable environmental burden borne by marginalized communities. These include people of color and minority communities, people of low socioeconomic status, indigenous communities, residents of the global south, and other populations that often lack political power. Environmental justice affirms the sacredness of Mother Earth, ecological unity, and interdependence of all species. Um, I know some of you are saying, why are we talking about the environment? We don't usually talk about the environment. Um, but because bottom line, we have only one Earth, one planet to call home. And if we don't do something quickly, our children and grandchildren may not have this planet to call home. Uh, we are using up the Earth's uh, resources faster than the Earth can replenish them. And we only have a finite supply of some things like fresh water. So if we frack Mother Earth, we endanger the very essence of life itself, water. Uh, gotta have it, gotta save it. So uh, 
and achieving environmental justice means a lot of things, but I'm just going to skip to the bottom. We must lead with a vision of a just transition away from irresponsible growth and corporate control to a new economy that is socially just and supports healthy communities. Together, we can ensure that worker and communities can make a just living on a living planet. I urge you to pass this resolution. Those in favor, over here, the voice in favor, the voice in opposed. Yes. Diane? I just want uh, clarification of sovereignty. Phrasing? It does include GMOs, and I left out my whole little thing on GMOs. And I did check back, and the food sovereignty, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, I printed out the wrong version. I had put a little definition that it does include things like uh, labeling requirements uh, and uh, banning GMOs, uh, genetically modified organisms from our food. We want natural food, not Franken food. Opposed? I mean, that was the point of inquiry. GMOs. Is there a, somebody for the motion for environmental justice yes, to be included? Oh. There's an opposed? Yes. All right, we didn't have a four. That was a point of inquiry. Oh, okay. Four, four, four. four. Environmental yeah. justice. Come, yeah. we got time. I just wanted a friendly amendment that we address the issue of environmental racism and include that and in the, find the appropriate place to put it. It's in the title. It's the, funda it's the, the fundamental demand. Environmental yeah. justice and an environmental racism. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Again. I want to point out that there's only so much we're really going to be able to take away from this and really build practical campaigns for that we can coordinate. And I think working people that we really need to get involved in this will be willing to fight for jobs for all, including all the kinds of jobs that are green jobs. But I don't think a vague demand to fight to save the environment is going to motivate a lot of people to actually do anything. I think I think the jobs for all thing covers this, and we can emphasize green jobs. And I don't think it's likely there's going to be any any practical outcome of this. I think it's one more thing that will be tacked on that nothing's really going to be done about. If you do read the entire resolution, it talks about a just transition for workers uh, out of the polluting industries to clean, green job industries. Uh, so um, that's included. For the remote, the demand for environmental justice. For Elsie, are you speaking yes, on this? Yes, I, I'm for this. I've been a nurse for over 50 years, and when you talk about our future generation, if you see now the numbers of children that are actually born with cancer, we didn't see that years ago. I graduated in 1955. We didn't see this. So I am for this. This is very, very important. So many children are being born with cancer of the brain, of the eye, all places. And we just can't sit back and see this happen. Because this, this future generation is being destroyed by our environment. Now you may think it's funny, but it's not. Good point. Again. Hearing no again for third four. I have a, a friendly amendment, an amendment. I think, I don't know who would come here, or maybe it might be something separate, but I think we should also talk about agricultural justice because so much is going on in terms of the farming industry and, and various countries losing their farms and a lot of stuff that I think also needs to be examined as well. Not having one that has submitted. has to do with food sovereignty. It has to do with food sovereignty, but not having received one pre-submit and we can deal with it in continuation okay. activity. Formulate, it, formulate something to, uh, to amend the overall program. We can't make it up now on the floor. All right, there's no, there's no oppose. I'll entertain the notion to terminate the discussion. Friendly amendment. Come on, brother. Uh, friendly amendment. I would call uh, demand that we um, move forward in the crash program for renewable energy. Clean, that's, I, that's in there. Oh, that's, in, that's in the jobs for so all. That's all over. It's in the public works. We've passed it several times today. Yes. <laughs> Back to this. Is there, a, there was a motion to close the discussion. Is there a second? second? All those in favor of closing the discussion? Aye. 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 Opposed? 
on the men on the demand for environmental justice. Was it amended by anyone? No, not amended. There's only explanations. All those in favor of adopting the amendment on environmental justice, the motion on environmental justice, they gave it an aye. Aye. Opposed. Adopted. Here, here. Aye. Oh, here, here. Here, here. Here, here. Here, Seriously, give yourself a hand. You went through a relatively difficult, complex issue in a relatively short period of time. Did you talk it all out? No. Have you laid a skeleton on which you can put meat for a fight back program? Absolutely. Now, anybody, do we need to take two minutes to run to the bathroom? Because we got to get into the small group discussion. Let me give you the. Wait, wait, wait. What? Aren't we going to the other building? No, we're staying here. No, 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 we're staying here. We, got, we don't have time to travel. Everyone got a number when they came in, as I understand, the registration people. This is for group one, that corner. This is for group two, this corner. That's group three, that's group four. Group five will be in the middle. Now you can move some chairs around if you need to, if you don't, but go there. We will have 